Hey now. All right, all right, all right. Switch some things around on the old Google Hangout, and I think we are ready. Gaming with Seth, first one in. You're the winner. Congratulations. What is going on, buddy? Just waiting for some other people to pop up in the Hangout. We're expecting Dan from Rebel Gaming Club, perhaps Shad Juice, maybe Captain Retro and MC Mer, all those folks that bought uh, Nintendo Switches this past week, and they can tell us how awesome it is. Ah, water. Uh, yeah, Michael, you're the, you're the Canadian champion. How about that? It's like, it's like being the intercontinental champion and like the U S TV champion or something. What's going on, man? Michael Q. I really don't have anything to say about the switch cause I didn't buy one. So like I said, we're just kind of waiting for some others to get in here that actually bought one. Um, anybody in the chat got a switch? Tell us all about it, man. How is it? I heard the Zelda game's awesome. The Bomberman game is awesome. And Michael, when you start, uh, when you start doing YouTube videos, what are you going to do on your channel? Are you going to do like retro games or? What's going on, Bianca? Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, it's gonna be a short stream tonight. I'm actually we're actually doing it off schedule for uh, 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 bad company who's not here right now. So I'm gonna send out a text to the old group. Uh, Gaming with Seth. What do you do on your on your YouTube channel? Uh, Michael's going to be doing uh, pickup videos. He's got some uh, retro hardware videos coming. That's cool, man. Definitely cool. Because you, you get a lot of, like, uh, sort of obscure Famicom carts and stuff from overseas, don't you? Like, 150 in ones. Bianca's going to watch this on her phone or tablet while she's in the store. It's cool. Dan from Rebel Gaming Club, just the guy I was waiting for. Let's pop him in here. We're going to be talking Switch tonight, Dan. I already told you that. All right, Dan. Uh, invite sent. Jason Rotbergs is here. What's going on, brother? Michael, yeah, the 143 and one uh, Nest cart still in the mail. Should, are you gonna do a review on that when you get it? That's kind of kind of cool. I don't ever see those things except for at conventions, you know. Uh, Seth says he plays games on on his channel, um, the Q and A type stuff. That's cool, man. I'll definitely check that out. Bianca says, "What's up to Dan from Rebel Gaming Club?" Jason has a complaint about Zelda and the breakable weapons. Uh, do tell, my brother. Drinking water this evening. <sighs> we got to get Bianca on one of these hangouts one time. All right, so like I said, send an invite to uh, Dan from Rebel Gaming Club. I, I got to be honest. Before we start talking about the Switch, I want to talk about how pissed off I am at Craigslist right now. Last week I had uh, one of 
Brett's items up. It was a PSP lot, 70 bucks, PSP, 2000 charger, you know, flash card or whatever. And uh, two games, Final Fantasy game and GI Joe. And I had it like 70 bucks expecting somebody to negotiate. Well, somebody flagged her somehow it got flagged. So that ad got pulled from Craigslist. And then today I posted a uh, Nintendo DS IXL lot with uh, three Mario games, Mario Party, uh, New Super Mario Brothers and uh, Mario 64 DS, and within like two seconds, that ad got flagged and pulled off of Craigslist. So I'm slowly getting to a breaking point with Craigslist. That's What's cool. going on, Chad? That's what will happen, Chris. Chad got a a switch. Let me send him an invite. If I can. Checking it out. I don't see it in there. Shad, if you want to get in the uh, the Hangout, text me with your email. I kind of want to get people in here that um, got switches this past week, and you guys can share your success stories, your horror stories, what you like, what you don't like. That game collector, what is going on? Dan from Rebel Gaming Club, what is up, brother? Long day of hunting today. Six hours. Six hours? Yep. Drove all over the place. Nice. So how has your Switch uh, experience been so far? My Switch is, it's, I've had a good time with it so far. Um, the only real issues I've noticed is with Bomberman playing it online. I did it last night for the first time, and uh, I, I don't know if it's my internet or if it's just the game itself. It, it seems really laggy. So that, that was kind of disappointing. Um, it, the, like I said, I don't know if it's the internet or if it's just if that's what everyone's dealing with right now online. Yeah, people almost like uh, people almost crashed their servers because everybody was on playing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nintendo. Maybe, but what, what, when I when I went on, there was only one other person in the in that group trying to play because it was two empty slots. It could have been up to four players going at once and. Uh, so I, I don't think that could be the issue, but hmm. maybe. All right. Alex Arcade, what is going on? Captain Retro is in. Huh. So how many hours have you put into uh, your Zelda game? Um, I'm going to say I've probably put in three, three and a half. Okay. So, so a little bit. Uh, what, the the thing I'm having a, a problem with that is it's just so massive that you find yourself just wandering and uh, <laughs> not really continuing the story. So it's like a, a Grand Theft Auto for Zelda. You're just you know you just realize you've wasted two hours, you know, by you know running around discovering things, but it's not progressing anything, and then you kind of get lost and yeah. I'm liking it though. Really hard, difficult. I saw MC Murr was um, streaming Bomberman, and he was, you know, had his daughter, and she was playing and stuff, and uh, <laughs> it looked really good. Yeah, it's it's fun. The single player was really, really good, and then, like I said last night when I went online, it just really floaty controls and it was frustrating. Hmm. Shad, you said that he caught fish for an hour today. Did you catch fish? Did you catch any fish or did you just sit out there and drink beer in the boat? Cause I know which one I would have done. Jason says he's been playing um, Zelda nonstop. Jason, uh, you got a switch. Let me. Um... Get you in here. Send you an invite if you want. So, what else is new in the uh, the land of Rebel Gaming Club? 
just a bunch of new finds. Uh, a bunch of stuff piled up that I need to start motoring through here on these pickups, but it's tough when, you know, they're throwing in all these other bits in there. I don't want the, the episode to run longer than 20 minutes. So that's the dilemma I'm having. <laughs> Space. Yeah. Yep. Gaming with Seth asks, Hey, do you guys like VR? Um, you know, I'm not, I'm just not that familiar with the, with the VR situation, man. I mean, if, I mean, you do it on your channel. Is that, is that what you're getting at? Cause that's cool. Yeah. I've seen some gameplay of the, uh, the Batman one and, uh, the resident evil one, but I, I actually didn't sit down and watch like an hour's worth. It was probably, you know, a five minute snapshot. Yeah. Same deal with me. I I've, I've seen people play it. It looks awesome, but I, I don't want to shell out the $400 just yet until it's progressed a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. Um, Bad Company says he's actually disappointed with Zelda. Do you want to come in the hangout and tell us why, Bad Company? We're doing the stream for Bad Company, by the way, because this isn't my normal stream day. It's actually next Monday. But uh, Bad Company was off today, and he begged, cried a little, groveled. Yeah. <laughs> we could do a stream, so we're, we set him up. I think Bad Company is having, like, most of the issues I'm having. Um, it's how many items you can hold. It's the breakable weapons. It's running nonstop. It's the not progressing. Like he said, it, there's there's like five or ten things that they could fix easily with a patch, but the open worldness is ridiculous. Do you think that's just sort of like the first print run like situation? You know, they they always like the first print run or the first the first time the electronic thing or whatever it is comes out it's got bugs and stuff and that they'll fix it or do you see that being like a long time problem i'd say they have to patch the breakable weapons that it, it, it's, it's ridiculous that you get like a really cool like metal sword and you use it like once and it's, it's broken you know it, it's it's so ridiculous well, especially in the middle of a battle, you know, you're, you're going at it and there's, you know, four or five people around you trying to attack you and, and your sword breaks, you know, it's, it's a pain in the ass. You got to stop. You got to change the weapon. Half the time you don't have a better weapon and you've used the best one you have. And uh, yeah, that, I've noticed that too, along with the running, the stamina meter for the running is ridiculous. It just takes forever. You lose your stamina. You got to walk, wait for it to build back up. It's frustrating. So is there is there a way that you can, I don't know, up the durability of the sword? I mean, there are there like RPG elements like building experience points or something to where? I haven't noticed that yet. Is there, just, is there like not enough swords laying around to mm -hmm. where you can like always just pick one up? Is it like a rare item to find? It's pretty rare so far. There, there, there are non-breakable uh, swords, but I think you have to get really far into the game. I haven't found any yet. That sort of reminds me of, um, like, Beyond Oasis for Sega Genesis, but, you know, that you get certain uses with that sword, and it tells you how many uses you have with, like, the broadsword and the, you know, the death sword or whatever. So it's sort of easy to kind of monitor. Is that sort of similar to what's going on in uh, Zelda? I mean, it's hard to monitor in the middle of a battle. You know, if you it's if it was turn based, sure you'd you'd have all the time, but the real action, you know, you're not going to have have time to figure that out. And when the sword breaks, do you just not have a weapon, or does it go back to a default weapon like a dagger or something? You have nothing. So you have to like pause, go into your inventory, find something if you have something, and use that. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty brutal. Um, Apoc is here. Cat Metro is here. Uh, Apoc says he believes his cousin beat the uh, the game. Give some Cat Metro an invite. Uh, God, if I can remember that. It certainly isn't a 10 out of 10 type of game. You know, that's what everyone's hyping it up to be. It's a really good game. I don't think it's a 10 out of 10. All right, let 
let me uh, let me try and send this over to the captain. He's um, he's really digging the Zelda, so we'll get some very perspective in here, which is cool. Pretty excited! I won that that auction last night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Still over the moon. Feels good to win those. Yeah, it was only a five dollar auction though. <laughs> still, still feels good just to win yeah. it and not have to pay five bucks, and it was uh, free shipping, which was nice. And then the last one that sold was like ten bucks, so I feel like I got a deal. Yeah, I defeated I eBay. I took eBay my down. Deal, but I didn't get a deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cap Retro, I sent you a. A link to your Gmail, and as I was doing that, like the comments flew past. Let's see, uh, Michael says you can just pimp slap the enemies after they break. Retro games, uh, games, uh, seven one seven. What's up, man? Back again, huh? Captain Retro says he gives it a ninety one. <laughs> now is that is that on the scale of one to ten? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fellas! Oh, there's the captain. <laughs> What's going down, YouTube Town? All right, there, Cam Retro. What is your take on this uh, this whole Zelda Nintendo Switch business? Um, I get the little nitpicks about weapons breaking and stuff like it. Kind of pissed me off for the first forty five minutes, and then I got over it once I found something better. You know what I mean? Like it's, I, I feel like it's the best mixture of Skyrim and actual Zelda that for the first has minutes. ever possibly been made. You know what I mean? Like it's it's. A nine and a half out of ten on my on my scale of of real scales, <laughs> uh, and I was just kidding. Bad company, ninety one. I give it a ninety one. Uh, I I think the open world is it's hard to watch somebody else play it online and get like a scope of how big it actually is when you when you're in the world. It looks you know incredible, and there's some you want to go somewhere, get there if you can, if you if you can take the cold or take the heat at the time. You know what I mean? Like I've I've died a lot. I love the fact that I've died a lot. I you die a lot on the original Zelda on Nintendo. Go play Zelda again on Nintendo and see how many times you make it. To, you know, anywhere before you've died three or four times. You know, trying to build up hearts and get your you know do everything. I think it's a throwback to old school. It, it, there's no real hand holding in it. It kind of like lets you go. There is like some training that happens in the first hour and some, here's how those, you know, the system works. But other than that, man, like it's, it's the most non Nintendo Nintendo game I've ever played. And it's the best Zelda. I think, I think it's a sequel to wind waker. I, every, I keep finding little things and little hints that are telling me that this is a sequel to wind waker set some 10,000 years after the events of wind waker, basically after the world is unflooded. And I, I think it's amazing. The, the cell shading aspects of the graphics are beautiful. It's timeless. It's going to hold this. Uh, the, the, it's the whole is, you know, it's going to like, like wind waker. It's going to stand up for 20, 30 years. It's going to look great. When we go back and look at this game in 15, 20 years, it's not going to look shitty. Kind of like skyward sword or twilight princess has a, has a weird look to it these days. Um, I'm in love with it, dude. This is, I've been I, I'm I'm so happy that Nintendo made something that I'm in love with again. I'm playing it on the Wii U. I've, I have it on the Switch. I haven't even opened it. I haven't opened my Switch yet. I haven't opened the Zelda. I'm playing it on the Wii U. I'm gonna let the Wii U die its natural course. It's <laughs> this game was intended to be played on the Wii U, I think, and they ported it over to the Switch just to get it out there. You know what I mean? After the faltering sales of the Wii U. So. Where is it? Am I the only one that's super jonesed about it in this group? Was that no? MC Murr loves it too, man. Me and him both are having freak out moments about it. We've been texting back and forth all day about the fucking cooking, dude. I took an hour and cooked stupid shit. I thought I'd hate the cooking aspect of it. Love it. That's a fun aspect of it. I agree. Making stupid shit, like picking up, picking different ingredients and throw them in a bucket and see what I can make and whether or not it's a real thing. And then going to sell some of that stuff, dude. I've made so much rupees off of selling my stupid. Uh, potions and stuff that I'm not using yet because I have no reason to go climbing onto a mountain until I, I can really take it. You know what I mean? I've got seven hearts and I've got two extra stamina wheels. 
that's I'm not you know what I mean I'm taking it slow and easy and loving every fucking minute of it. Excuse my French. <laughs> so that's all I'll say. I love it. Yeah, I love it too. It's just the breakable weapons for me. Like that, that's my only complaint, really. I mean, I got again. I got past that real quick. Once you get something stronger and an actual piece of steel in your hands, it lasts for a little while longer, and everything you know, the, the weapons get stronger and harder and better every you know every hour. Yeah. So, I'm okay with that. I kind of like that aspect. I, it makes again, it makes the game harder. Uh, it makes the game more Zelda. I, I want a little bit of challenge. Damn it, I'm tired of having my hand held by these modern consoles. That's a fair point. Let's see. Um, Alex is asking. We're working on a trade list here kind of thing. He said he sent it to my email, so I look forward to that. Chad Juice loves it. He said he killed four big-ass bears today. <laughs> uh, Deck Game Collector says his only <laughs> complaint is the uh, the stamina. Which uh, you guys already talked about. Uh, NES addict in the house. What's up, buddy? And then Chad used to say, and you can upgrade your stamina. Yeah, I think you have to trade a heart for the stamina. You can go to that. You can trade four of the, you know, the shrine things for some more stamina or another heart at, at all the prayer statue things. So you can pick a heart or, you know, pick a stamina thing. And again, there's potions that make your stamina last longer or, or hang out, you know. You got more stamina for this thing. Once it starts raining, you're fucked with your torches, though, man. That sucks. I love the weather. Have you been struck by lightning yet? I've been struck by lightning. Don't get struck by lightning. Don't be wearing metal. Don't don't run around with your sword out or having it on your back with a metal shield, or you'll get zapped. It's pretty ruthless. Seriously, I, the graphics are beyond beautiful. And you don't get a real scope of how big it is until you're actually playing it. And you're like, my God, I can run to That's, that mountain. Yeah, if you got an hour, you can run over to that mountain. <laughs> yep, massive. So so, so what, what about getting your um, inventory uh, larger? Have, have you done that yet? Yeah, you can you can get more spots. I uh, forgot exactly how I've done that. But trade. oh, trading the Korok seeds. Yeah. The little is it Koroks or Koroks or whatever they're called? The little fucking plant things, leaf motherfuckers. Um, trading those guys off for plant seeds to the big guy with his maracas. I, I found him. I don't know if I, you know, what again, everybody's game is going to be different because it's so big and it's so much to do, and it's you don't have to necessarily go in a certain order. I probably have done things that you're not going to do, and you're going to do things that I'm not going to do. I was watching only only level one was playing earlier. And he he just now played. He's probably in the first hour of it himself. Maybe maybe two hours in, and his gameplay is completely different than mine. Like he found chests that I had no idea they were there. You know what I mean? Like I didn't really want to watch him play. I was kind of more less listening to it. But I I, I think it's amazing that it's not everybody. Not everybody's going to have the same Zelda experience, and that's great. That's pretty cool. Jason, did you just get my text? Um, no, I didn't. Uh, hold on, let me check. Hold on. All right. Well, somebody replied to me and they said what? So I'm assuming that bad company gave me a bad number yesterday. No. Uh. Yeah. No, I I didn't get anything. Okay. It's cool. Um. Yeah. Ask him. Uh. Ask him. Again, to uh, send it to you, or if he's watching us, send it. Send it to Chris. Is it a eight six zero number? Yeah. What's uh? What's the the? Well, you can say the last four because they're not gonna know the rest. Six two seven nine. Six two nine seven. All right. I told uh, MC Murr last night that we were going to be talking about uh, the Switch tonight, so hopefully uh, he can make it. Yeah, he's been busy with the kid. They're probably doing some dinner stuff right now. He's, like, he's only got like two hours into Zelda so far, but he loves it too. Four times a month, one day Lawler was complaining to me. 
Sorry. All right, man. I just, I just sent that text. All right. Sorry about that, guys. A little house cleaning stuff. Uh, Alex is saying he likes the link between worlds. Bad company's not going to get on right now. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. It's cool, bro. Promigo. Pro Beans. I got a well, link between worlds. Still feel. Nice. Tight white in the house. Has anyone tried Coca Cola and orange soda yet? No, no bad company yet. I really I mean, I'm, I'm sure when I was like 12 at Burger King or something, I've done that. But I'm a man. It's a lot of sugar. Uh, Dad Game Collector is asking, anyone else picking up near Automata? I don't know what that is. When it goes on sale, I'm definitely picking it up. Okay. What other uh, what other games for the Switch did you guys pick up, and um, how are they? Only thing I picked up is again a Zelda, and I haven't even opened it. Uh, nice. Bomberman and One Two Switch. Bomberman played One Two Switch. I haven't played yet. Okay. Bomberman looks all right, if not repetitive. I think the online is going to be fun if, as long as it's not laggy, like uh, like I played last night. It was super laggy, and I don't know if it was my internet or, or if that's how the servers are going to work here for the the time being. Anybody else uh, watch Goldberg take down Kevin Owens last night in twenty two seconds? No, but that's stupid. What, what are they doing with Goldberg? Why is it nineteen ninety six all over again? <laughs> Real stupid. Um, I, I like the Lesnar thing. I liked when he did Lesnar. I wanted that to be a one and done. Now I'm like, now you're going to give him, I don't get it. Why are you going to give him the belt so he can go to WrestleMania and lose it to Lesnar? Is that what's going to happen? Like, what the fuck are they doing? I think that's what they're doing. <laughs> Why do you make Lesnar a beast that's unconquerable, then let him get conquered, and then let him go conquer again? Like, I don't, I don't get it. You let Lesnar be the Goldberg, the guy that just comes in once a year and wrecks people. And doesn't do it for belts. He just does it to wreck people. That's I like that angle of him. And then I liked him getting beat. And then going away. Don't come back for five years. Raza, what's going on, man? All the way from the UK. He says Breath of the Wild is amazing, and he's thinking about getting the Super Bomberman R game next. Yeah, I mean, the Bomberman game looked cool. I mean, I'm not a super huge Bomberman fan, but it looked awesome. Edge for Gaming, what's going on, man? I'll get the Blaster Master when that comes out. That looks good. Blaster Master. All right, Jason. I See that, that game that looks like Advance Wars? What's the uh, Binding of Isaac thing? What is that game? Afterbirth. Isn't that uh, the that Binding one, I, my, Yeah, my kid plays that. And you can get it on, like, um, 360. And he's got it on, like, PS, PSN. Is it like a torque? But it looks like a... It's like a twin stick shooter dungeon type game. Hmm. Well, the name of it implies torture porn. Yeah. Apoc says he'll be back in a bit. He's editing a video that he's going to post tonight. Yeah. Speaking of which, following this stream, we will be posting our year of the PlayStation video for March. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've done this before where I've posted a video in the daytime and then um, I've had a stream. And what happens is, you know, your video is right there on the front of your, your YouTube page. And then when you have the streamer or something, it pushes that to the side and, you know, puts the stream first. So we'll have the stream and then we'll put that on there. That way that's first. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm just confused. Get those views. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, Kimar, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by. Drinking water and eating uh, Girl Scout Thin Mints tonight. Love Girl Scout cookies. Because you're a man. I'm a man. <laughs> 40. <laughs> one of the great sound bites of all time. That is a good one. Was that Jeff Gundy at Oklahoma State? That one. And put your name on it. 
be a man or a woman. Put your name on it. Nice. Yeah, NES Addict said he will be back. That's cool, man. I want to talk to you about uh, your J to Z episode that just posted. It's a good episode. Is he ever going to do a Jay Z episode? He did. He did. Uh, he did Air Fortress. Terrible game. That was that was next up. <laughs> it's all right. It's a terrible game. It's all right. <laughs> T I bearable. Terrible. I can't even spell it. T it's more uh, right. it's more casual. It's more leisurely. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Edge for gaming just says I mean, oh cool, man. Trying to work out a trade with uh, Edge. Oh Red Retro Games seven one seven once in. Gotta pay the toll. Gotta pay the troll toll. If you want that boy's hole. Toll is a toll and a roll is a roll, and if we don't get no tolls, we don't need no rolls. No more rhymes, I mean it. Anybody won the peanut? One of my favorite movies of all time. Why is it not letting me do that? Um, so you guys that got the Switch, did you guys uh, get accessories, pro controllers? I mean, was that stuff accessible? Were you able to get your hands on some of it? What would you get, and how how you liking it? I got no accessories. Yeah, I didn't buy anything extra with it other than the game, and again, I haven't even opened it. And I just got Zelda on Wii U, and I got like a lot of a lot of odd and end stuff to go with the Zelda game. That was about it. I might pick up one of the. There's a couple people around me with the, you know, offer up deals for collector's edition Zelda. I might pick up one of those just to have it sealed and keep it sealed somewhere. But they want 150 bucks for them right now, and I'll wait for another couple weeks until they decide they want 120 bucks for it. And, you know, get it for what it's worth, not not what they want for. It. I don't know. The price might stay on that one. It might. And that Master Edition, I've seen people asking 600 bones for that fucking Master Edition one. And I've seen it sell. Yeah, that one looks nuts. I, you know, I do sell stuff on Amazon, and I was looking earlier. The, the lowest the lowest Switch for sale right now, there was like 430 of them online for sale. The lowest one was running like 430 bucks. And, you know, I paid 299 for the damn thing at Walmart. Right now, the highest the highest I've seen on Craigslist in my area was five fifty. Right now, it's down to three ninety four eighty two, so it's fluctuating back and forth. But I just sold another one of those damn Nes Mini Classics for one hundred and seventy five bucks. Like it's ridiculous, and I found it for sixty dollars at the fucking GameStop. What's wrong? With you? Nice. What is wrong with you people? I'll sell it to you all day long. Uh, Michael and Tight White don't like it when I rap. But of course, that really wasn't a rap. That was a line from Robin Hood Men in Tights. Obviously, you haven't seen that classic comedy. What's up there, 717? Yo, what's up? How y'all doing? Y'all all right? Good. Came back for more, huh? Hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> so did you pick up a Switch or not? Nah, I wasn't. I'm not. In, nah, nah, I'm not doing the Switchy Switch. But I do have it for the Wii U. I have Who's played it on the Wii U? Me. It was dope. Me. It's fucking great on the Wii U. Well, I don't want to pop mine open. I just want to let it sit on shelf. It's the <laughs> last Wii U game. It's not the last Wii U game. That's not the last. The last. I'm going to let that sit. I'm it's the last another first party one. Wii U game, but it's not the last Wii U. Wii party? You said another Wii party? The last first party Wii U game. No. Oh. Nintendo made game, you know, but they'll be like Just Dance 2017, some of that bullshit. Oh, no, that bullshit. <laughs> DDR. Dan, Dan loves those Just Dance motherfuckers. He's got country dance and fucking rock band dance. He Everybody it. donates that bullshit to the good world. Damn, I'm tired of seeing that shit. <laughs> so what's up, everybody? All right? Good? Yeah, doing real good. Red Bull Gaming Club. He's into it. That's that shit. Yo, Jason, what up? Yo, I subbed your shit, man. I like your old shit. That shit's crazy. That oh, shit. thanks. Man, I haven't seen some of that shit. I, was that, uh, I used to have a ColecoVision when I was a kid. I don't know where that shit's at. I wish I still had that. <clears throat> 
Yeah, I still got this one close by. I haven't even hooked it up yet. The uh, uh, Texas Instrument. Yeah, I had a uh, damn man. <laughs> damn, you coming across some crazy shit. <laughs> fucking Ti Nine. That? <laughs> that shit is crazy. Nice. Yeah. Yo, that is insane. If I see shit like that, I would get it, but I won't. I don't ever see shit like that. Yeah, it's pretty rare you see that stuff. There's one yeah. actually down the road for me right now for sale at a little flea market, but the guy wants 150 bucks for it. I'm like, dude, that's not gonna happen. Like, that's way really 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 Been here for like two years. Like, it's not gonna happen. I'm the only one right. around here who knows what it is and wants it, yeah, but I ain't paying that for it, bro. I'll yeah. never use it. It'll just sit here on a shelf. Yeah, that's that's pretty fucked up, man. You, yeah. Being hard headed, just let the shit go, man. It's been sitting there for seriously two, at least two years. Like I've been going to that shop like once every other month for like two years. It ain't moved. It's been dusted. He, he keeps it nice. Dumbass, let <laughs> somebody else worry about that and sell it. It's ridiculous. Dumbass dude. And he don't know what it is. You know, he got no games for it. No, you know, nothing for it. Just, just the machine in the box. But still, he he looked at eBay one one time three years ago and he saw a price. Yeah, he for it. <laughs> yeah. he's half price books with it. Still. Yeah. <laughs> half price books with it. Yeah, fuck half it. price books. I caught those stupid motherfuckers slipping again two days ago myself. Fuck them. If you can't price check your own shit, it's not my fault. I don't feel like. Oh, matter of fact, hey yo, I just got this shit today for them bitches. Oh God, more coupons? Yeah, they're idiots. <laughs> They already got the shit mispriced, and then you can get a coupon on it too. Good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm waiting. Hey, Cap- gotta wait. Captain, mm-hmm. do you have one of those in your area? Yeah, we just got one, dude. Like it opened up like four months ago, and I have every time I go in there, they have something else stupid they have done wrong price. They've got stuff overpriced and stuff underpriced and stuff middle of the road priced, and the underpriced stuff is always something that should be overpriced but isn't, and the yeah. overpriced stuff is always something that should be underpriced and isn't. And it's ridiculous. Half price, man. It's Same thing as second and Charles. I got one. those and second and Charles here too, and they're idiots. Yeah, you got a second and where are you at? I'm in Atlanta. Oh yeah, back home there's a second and Charles, but they're just like half price, just stupid ass prices. You're like, man, what the? F-? It's like who lets y'all make? Like, is there one person in here that does it, or is it just like y'all? Today Tony gets to pick a price, and Tony, what do you think this could should go for? Fifteen ninety four. Okay, stick it on there. You're like, what the fuck? Where did Tony come from? The next day it's Sarah, and Sarah decides everything's worth 75 bucks. It's crazy. Yeah, that's and kind then, of a good thing. Second Charles, the second Charles likes to sell uh, repro shit and pass it off as real stuff, too. They think, <laughs> I haven't they think seen that. That's dirty. dirty. They got a Hagani. There's one in Athens, Georgia. They got a Hagani up there in Athens. <laughs> to pass off for 500 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> What? You can touch it and tell it's not real. That's fake plastic. It's a fake picture. It it even says repro on the label. Like it's it's one of those ones that says it. And it's like, you guys are fucked. Anyway, what were you saying, Dan? I'm sorry. I keep I feel like I keep cutting you off. Oh no, no, I I am just jealous of you guys. I don't I don't have any of that stuff in the, the northeast. We don't we don't have there's nothing remote. Where you at, Dan? Listen. Yeah. Up in uh, New Hampshire. Oh, NH. That's yeah, right. So, so there, there's nothing up here. No, it's fucking yeah, we, I don't have a second in Charles here either or, or, or any of that stuff. I'm in Connecticut. Are you connected? Cut damn, yeah. man. Oh, ugh. The good old days. Because I'm, I'm from Pennsylvania, but I spent my formative years growing up outside of Boston, Lawrence, Mass., but now I live in Houston. So... This shit's crazy down here. There's so much shit here in Houston. This is ridiculous. But the half price is so spread out. They're like all over the city. And you take you feel like taking a ride to them and you're gonna come up empty handed or pissed because of the prices on some shit. You know, cause they're all over. The stores, there's like six of them, I think. They're all over. I have two clothes sure down the street from me, but they're bullshit with their prices. Like, check this shit out. I just got this the other week, right? Can y'all see the price on it? <laughs> yeah, it's sealed. So, a hundred bucks sealed. Yeah, and uh, uh, that's about what it goes for, right? What's it? What's is that? Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. What's it go for sealed? One fifty. Yeah, roughly in that range. Okay. Well, I mean, that's you know, I wouldn't necessarily call that slipping. I would say that was nah. 
I so looked up that price and decided they- I didn't want to pay that price. That's what I'm saying. I was looking at it like, uh, it could go for more, you know, but so fuck it. I let, it was sitting there. So I got a coupon that came across through the email for 20%. And then I got rid of some shit and I snatched it up. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. And then when I checked out, I said, man, fuck you. Get your prices right. You know what I'm saying? Know your shit. Get don't, don't be in, get out of my lane. Don't know the business if you're not, if you don't know the business. Like, how can you have a real corporate place that lets that kind of shit go down? Uh, how does Goodwill stay open? But then again, they get all their shit for free. That's how they stay open. It don't matter. <laughs> There's no overhead for them. Yeah, they got zero overhead. They have plenty to work with. The Goodwills around me, again, we've mentioned this before, but thank God they don't, they are not part of the shop online part stuff. They don't send nothing up to them. Oh, they don't? But we still get video games at a relatively decent price. They have just just recently, most of them have gone up to like five ninety five a game. But you can still catch them slipping on half price day. You know, at two, whatever that is. Two. Yeah, half price day. What is that during the middle of the week or something? Every day of the week, they have a different whatever color of the week it is. So like, you walk in and it's got like a green billboard up front. It's like everything with a green sticker on it is half price. Oh, uh, they do. We get thirty percent. The color of the week is thirty yeah. percent. Oh, it's half price down here. Damn, that's interesting. Yeah, that's what I mean, it's corporate and it's not fucking legit. Like they don't have one standard metric. Yeah, up. they're not uniform like, with it. Just, that's, I don't understand crazy. it, and it's it's got to be illegal rackets going on. It's just got to be a front for laundering money for the mob. That's what Goodwill's got to be. Like something like that. It's got to be. There's got to be some illegal shit going down. Dan, yeah, that's just like the mob in Vegas <laughs> type bullshit. Dan knows what's up. He knows what the front for the mobs are. He's been there. He's played those clubs. Oh yeah. Been in speakeasies. It's funny you're talking about Goodwill. Michael's saying that he found uh, PS4 games at uh, Goodwill, and I, I kind of have to agree. He's like, who donates PS4s to to thrift stores? Because I mean, anybody, even if you don't know anything about games, you can take them into GameStop, and they'll give yeah. you nothing. For, you know what I mean? They'll rip you off as opposed to donating them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it actually kind of surprises me when I see Wii U. And uh, PS4 and Xbox One games at thrift store. Uh, Ty White's collection of Wii U that he found. Go well <laughs> that shit's crazy. It's yeah, that was nasty. <laughs> and then he had the fucking nuts to talk him down, and they took it, and like, oh my god, you're the king. You're the fucking king. Go well. <laughs> that shit's crazy. So to have them in the first place is crazy, but then he got them down to the normal shit. I mean, not like yeah. I would have tried to cut their nuts out from under them, too, but like, on camera, a motherfucker did it like, I love you. Love you, White. I don't I don't understand the whole white rapping thing, but I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That shit was classy. That's just crazy. So what what's the uh, is it true that the the what is that, the switch is no deaf? Is what? Is no deaf, man, it's not even high deaf. That is I heard, I heard it's running thirty frames per second, right? Is that? I mean, I, don't, uh, I saw, I saw an unboxing video, and um, they pulled an HDMI cable out of the box. So, yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's running. I think it's running ten eighty. I don't know. Uh, again, I bought the. I have it. I haven't fucking cracked it open. You want me to read the specs in this motherfucker? Let's see what it says. Yeah, let's see what it says. <laughs> As, uh, Rich from Review Tech got like a bunch of accessories and stuff in the console, and he just did like a like an ultimate unboxing. Uh, Michael's saying that the Switch is 900p when connected to a TV. The fuck is that? Mm-hmm. Missing a few. Um, <laughs> That's some bullshit. I, I will say this: I feel bad for my copy of Horizon Zero Dawn because this motherfucker ain't getting played anymore now that Zelda's out. Like it's just gonna sit there. Yo, how is that? It was amazing, and then Zelda came out. Okay, so I was having a really wet. good time. I put about seven hours into it, and then Zelda came out. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't out long before that Thursday night hit, and it was time to go get Zelda. So oh yeah, last week it yeah. came out. It came out Monday night, you know, midnight or whatever. And I went and picked it up on Tuesday afternoon. And I played a little bit Tuesday, a little bit Wednesday, Thursday night rolled around. It was time to go get Zelda. So Horizon, it's fun. It's it's like a PlayStation Four Zelda. I mean, it's a full on. It's a full-on immersive giant world of cool things to go run and do and shoot things with your bow and arrow and capture monsters and ride them around. It's awesome. But I, I have a fucking thing for this. There's a thing on this on my wrist that tells me I have to go buy Zelda games. So. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. The main thing, uh, Breath of the Wild might be the greatest game ever made. Bad company, 
Bad Company promptly disagreed. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I don't think so. I think once he puts a couple more hours into it and gets gets himself a couple more better weapons, he's going to change his mind on it. He's going to get sucked in like the rest of us have. I, let's read. Does this thing say anything about P's or 900s on it at all? No. Just says HDMI cable. Here's what it comes with. The console, two Joy-Cons, Joy-Con straps, high-speed HDMI cable, switch dock, Joy-Con grip, AC adapter. I'm glad they included an AC adapter with it. It's a 32 gig console, which is pathetic too. I mean, they couldn't do a 50 gig at least. They couldn't make it fucking at least the weakest power of a fucking PS4. <laughs> yeah. Pathetic. Is it? Do y'all know if it is? Uh, you could put like a separate hard drive with it. Can you do that? Can you pair it up to a? Yeah, just put a flash card in. Whatever oh, okay. the SD card, you can put like 128 gig. All right. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the specs on it, you know, as to what it's putting out. Sure is neat looking, though. So she has no death. Hmm. How do the uh, how do the actual controllers feel? Do they feel childlike? They look like little bitty, They're tiny. Yeah. Do they feel hard? Like, are they heavy? They got any weight to them, or is it like a piece of plastic, piece of little paper? I mean, it, it feels all right. It's not amazing, but it's it's not terrible. I you know, it's right in the middle. It's, I guess it's all right. Can't complain about it. Yeah, because it does look like it's lightweight and shit. Like it's just straight up hollow <laughs> plastic. No, I mean they they got some weight to them because okay. you got to think they have all that rumble HD rumble now inside of them. You know the technology, so it gives it a little bit of weight. Gyro, right? Like a little gyro in it. Ron, uh, I've heard the uh, the grip thing actually feels comfortable though. That's that it's not bad to play it when you put it on the little Joy-Con gripper. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's how I've been playing it. It's basically the size of an Xbox controller. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah. I might crack it open here pretty soon. I've just been, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I've never, I never, never, never been a way to buy a Zelda and a, and a brand new console at launch. You know what I mean? So yeah. I've, I, the joy, I Dane's might collection. It. Dane's collection is suggesting that you should do a live unboxing on the stream there, Captain Retro. Right now, fuck that, man. I want to put it in wrapping paper and open it on my birthday in July. <laughs> Fucking eight hey! <laughs> That's kind of what I want to do with it. <laughs> it I've uh, seriously, like, I've I've been as happy as I was as a little kid the first time I played Zelda and Mario as a little kid. Like, it's and it's and I'm playing it on the Wii U. I don't even care about the Switch part of it. It's just the game alone, like a new awesome Zelda game that's not motion control based and trying to work off a gimmick. Uh, the Skyward Sword lost my attention real quick. Yeah, I didn't like Skyward Sword. And the handheld stuff, I really, really liked that link between two worlds. Mm -hmm. That shit was great. And that got me Jones back into like, okay, they know what they're doing with Zelda again. And now this. But I'm going to go back and play it, fellas. I, you know, I... Good to see y'all again. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'll keep the stream running over here. I'm, I'll probably stay on and listen. But uh, I've, I've got it paused over here. I'm fucking Jones and already. I need to get it right back in my veins. So. <laughs> All right, Captain. All right, man. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by and uh, sharing your thoughts. Word up. Heading back to Hyrule. Captain! <laughs> he got ghosts at the same time. <laughs> Psychopath. <laughs> That's good. So, Chris. Yes, sir. Are, are other people allowed to drink on your stream or just not you? <laughs> just just not me. We're drinking okay. water tonight. Okay, I'm just I'm just checking. You you can drink all you want, man. <laughs> of course you get some good shit today. Um, I mean, no. Damn. No. You was looking forward to that shit all day, huh? Yeah, it just uh just didn't pan out like um I mean, you'll see it in the video and my videos are about two weeks behind, so. But it's like they okay, so we go into Goodwill. It's just a strange day, like. 
nothing you can do about it. So we go into Goodwill and they got auctions. They, they do exactly what you said. They put all the uh, Guitar Heroes and Dance Dance Revolutions on the shelves with the DVDs and all the other video games go in the auction. Well, right there, right in front of God and everybody, Sega Saturn with the you know what? the uh, memory the memory card, two controllers, and a stack of Sega Genesis games. So I go over to the book because it's a silent auction throughout the week. And then Saturday, it's a live auction. Nobody had bid on it yet. So I called the lady over. I opened the Sega Saturn. There's a copy of uh, Guardian Guardian Legends or Guardian Heroes oh, inside the console. That's oh, a good one. So I said, uh, yeah, it's like 80 bucks loose or something. So I said to the lady, I was like, hey, um, I don't know if anybody realized this, right? Like I start the sales pitch. I'm like, these Sega Genesis games don't actually go with this console, and nobody's bid on any of this stuff yet. Can I just buy this console since, you know, you don't really have any games for it? And she's like, well, I call over the manager or whatever, and the manager comes over, and she goes, no, we've already printed it up and put it in the book. We got it. So it was just one of those times where it's like, ah, oh, you know, like if they knew what they had, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I could care less about the Genesis games, right? I don't need Sonic not for resale and, you know, <laughs> that Coach K sense. basket. Like, but I wanted that console and that game. I mean, I have a Saturn, and I probably would have, like, given it away if I could have gotten it for a good price. But then we go over to uh, buybacks. And they had uh, two copies of this game right here. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas for the PS2. Nothing crazy, man. $15 game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right next to each other. One had a sticker for $23.99 on it. The other one had a sticker for forty four ninety five. Yeah, on. The... <laughs> it's like how how can you misprice games so bad? You know what I mean? It was just one of those weird days where it just wasn't going. So the adventure is part of the part of it, though. You know, so yeah, it's fucked up, but you get a laugh out of it. You know, it's like oh, that's some yeah. bullshit. But but hold up, so they're they're doing a silent auction at the Goodwill. Yeah, and where you at? uh columbus i mean like in the suburb of columbus ohio what they do is they post all the new stuff put all the new stuff in the case on sunday night monday morning and they have a book and you can go to the book like the saturn lot is lot number 35 right and it'll say sega saturn with games and uh, it'll have the goodwill starting bid probably like 20 bucks and then throughout the week it's a silent auction so anybody can go in there flip in the book put in their bid well saturday at noon they close the book and then they have a live in-house auction so what happens is they open it up and they start with lot number one. They get to lot number 35 and they go, uh, throughout the week, the silent auction, the highest bid was $55. Does anybody want to do more than $55? And then, you know, you get these two, these two or three alpha males in there that $1 more, $1 more. And all of a sudden they're paying twice as much as the shit's worth to begin with because they don't want to take a, a, a loss. You know what I mean? Like, so I never go to the live auctions because it's a clusterfuck. And like, That's stupid. <clears throat> There was a there was a Nintendo 64 lot one time, and it came with four controllers, and one of them was the uh, the fire orange controller. You know, it's, I don't have that color, but they also had it with some Super Nintendo games, and one of the Super Nin uh, Nintendo games was Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. Oh, right. so you figure with the the console and the the games that were there. I mean, there was like Donkey Kong and a Mario War, you know, the standard stuff, and uh, you know, you start totaling up. I think Ninja Gaiden trilogy at the time was worth about 110 <laughs> so the lot's worth about 200 bucks you know what i mean by the time you pay taxes on it this thing got up to like 285 and it's like you can you can go to the retro store right across the street buy that exact same stuff for less than what you're going to pay for it at a goodwill auction yeah because you're going to get a bundle you're going to will and you can win and will and deal with a bundle man they'll they'll hook you up but yeah, I mean, fucked up, man. Damn. But it's just it's Goodwill. It's that's how they do. And then the other Goodwill down the street, you know, two miles down the street, they don't have auctions anymore. They just post everything in their put everything in their glass cabinet. So it's first come first serve. Yeah. See, that's guys. I gotta bounce, but uh, catch you guys real soon. Hopefully next week. All right, Daniel. Good All to right, see you. Yo, peace, man. Good night. Jared in the stream. Thanks for stopping by, man. Damn. Michael's asking how many Tiger handhelds uh, did I pick up today? I didn't see any Tiger handhelds. <laughs> if I would have seen them, I would have picked them up. <laughs> I want a Coleco Bulletronic, if anybody remembers those from back in the day. Mm, I remember that. It was, uh, it was about this long. 
and it kind of sloped up on the end, and it was a bowling game, and the little guy would run across the, str- across the top of the screen with his arm like this, you know, and you had to hit it at the right time, and then it was like LED, you know, like them little Mattel football games. Yeah. So you see, like, this little dot go down the, the bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> Lighten up the lane and shit. You know? Yeah. Nah, I've cool. never seen anything like that. I don't remember that. What I do wish I still had was, remember the uh, the mini arcades? They're mm-hmm. not like the ones they have now. They're kind of small. They were the bigger ones, the bigger mini arcades. They had a nice like the, the, stick on it. Yeah, like the Coleco ones. They were made by Coleco. They were about this big. Yeah, and they, they made like big. a Pac-Man yeah. and a Galaga, I think. Yeah, and I yeah, had a Donkey a- Kong one. Oh, nice. Oh, man, I wish I... Now you get into this collector, you're like, damn, I wish I had the shit when I was a little kid. Because th- that was the shit. It was new back then, you know. Now that shit is vintage. I wish I had my comics, my G.I. Joes, my Transformers. I'd be like, damn, man. Yeah, we said that last time. I wish I had my G.I. Joes, man. We had boxes of G.I. Joes. Boxes of them. Yeah, man. I had so many Transformers. This shit was ridiculous. Um, no, we never did the Transformers. I mean, we just, like I said, we just did G.I. Joes. But Transformers are awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's the shit. They are awesome. They're sweet for shelf candy. I mean. Oh, yeah. When you tra- you could transform them. Like, say you got the Dinobots, put them shits there. Yeah, yo, man. I wish I had my shit. Because I had, damn, I had a lot of shit, man. My prize, one of my first ones that I enjoyed was I got it out the cereal. I got the, um, the UPC and I sent off, paid like a few bucks to get jazz. Mm. Pay shipping and handling a few bucks and you send the UPC. I got my jazz. He was all chrome and shiny and shit. I was like, damn, I don't even want to touch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Captain Retro saying Voltron is where it's at. We had a couple of Voltrons when we were kids. Yeah. We had, I think we had the Black Lion and the Yellow Lion, but we didn't have them all. You know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't have them all I think, that would, I think that would be awesome to get Damn. and put it like in yeah. an episode, <laughs> put it just in the background, just this big Voltron. Because yeah, Legendary you, Defender you. on Netflix is really good. Yeah. Damn, Voltron. Mm. All right, so check it. Because I, I was collecting toys, all that stuff back in the day when I was a kid. And I also was collecting music. So one thing I do have is the great majority of my original record collection. So now I'm like, damn, would I rather have my music <laughs> or at least one of my G.I. Either G.I. Joe's, trend, or, you know, at least one of the others that I had. My video games or my comics or my toys. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's like, shit. I wish I had them all. That'd be all right. Yeah. I, you know, the toys you would never pl- like, I wouldn't play with my toys. Right. I'm like, nah. I'm, 30, I'm 38. And we're not having GI <laughs> Joe battles on my bed you know, <laughs> before I go, before I go to sleep. You know what I mean? I'm not going to, I mean, I might, you I might, yeah, you never know, you know, but, uh, you know, you can play the video games now, but I man, I don't know. Cause I, at some point you're just gonna have to sell off the video game. You know what I mean? Like I don't plan on keeping all this stuff forever. Nah, man. But the, the toys would display nice. Yeah, you know? that's that's nice. Just like you said, the shelf candy. I'm just like, damn. Ooh. But the most exciting thing I got at Goodwill today was uh, empty CD cases to put my loose disc games in. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> well, you know what's cool is when you go to... Um... Like, uh, usually at the, uh, at the thrift stores... Like, I'll find a game. Oh, shit, I found this, and it's empty. I'm like, fuck. So I asked the lady, you know, when you, if it's empty, you don't have a game, right? She's like, no. Nah. What you going to do with the case? He's like, well, I guess since you need it or want it, you can have it. I'm like, cool. Shit. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. it. You know, there's, there's some cool people out there, man, to help you out along the way. Yeah. Is that, you know, I always ask. I'm like, do you, do you have the games anywhere else, like in a binder or something? And then they're like, no, you know, and then they don't really know what to do. Yeah, and then you just ask. You're, you just ask, like, "Well, I collect this stuff, and I'm sure I'll run into the game somewhere. Can I have the case?" And then some of them will tell you no. I mean, that's how I got my case for uh, Fire Emblem: Path of Radiance. Someone stole the game. <laughs> that's crazy. And I went up to the counter, and she's like, "I'm like, yeah, yeah you don't have the game." And she's like, "No." I was like, "I think somebody stole it, which is shitty because I needed this game." I was like, "Can I just have it?" And she's like, "Well, we can't just give it to you. I have to throw it away." Yeah. <laughs> It's like I've been told that too. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I mean, can you just ring me up for a dollar? That way, you know, I'm actually buying it and you don't have to throw it away. 
because for an empty case for Fire Emblem Path of Radiance with the manual and the inserts in mint condition, I will straight up come behind that counter and pick it out of the trash. I don't care. <laughs> you can dump it in there. I'll pick it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they have, they, they have really liberal laws on this. Once it's in public domain, it's really for anybody, you know. <laughs> yeah, so she sold it to me for a dollar, so I ended up getting the case in the manual for a dollar. Yeah, I know. I told some lady that, too. I said, look, I'll just give you a dollar for it. shit. <laughs> but a lot of them have been like, oh, you can have it. You can have it. It's cool. I said, oh, shit. I right, appreciate it. I'll be back. Yeah, most of the times they'll just give them to you or – you know, if it's one case, it's a dollar. If it's, you know, two or three cases, it might be a dollar or two dollars. But yeah. if, they, if they're good cases, you know, like Battlefronts and stuff like that, I don't mind paying a dollar for them. You know what nah. I mean? Yeah, I've come across a few. I'm like, just ring me up for the show. I'll pay for it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an interesting journey going out here collecting. It's not interesting. Jason, what up? Uh, not much. I, I actually did go to Goodwill today, and I normally don't. Uh, not too exciting, but like the best thing I got this week was like Devil uh, May Cry. I was actually happy to not find a sports game. <laughs> Man. Uh, so, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> you are. Take, take that as a win. <laughs> <laughs> this shit, that's better than most of the time I go to the Goodwill. I feel obligated to get some because they want shit good. And I'm like, fuck it. I'll just buy some bullshit I could sell, you know? So, but it's like, damn, man. DDRs and all the loose guitars you can find. Oh, man, this shit's crazy. All right. Yeah. I turned a little bit of money on uh, on the Guitar Hero stuff, like the wired guitars for 360 um, you know, and that kind of stuff. So I usually get them for four or five bucks at Goodwill and then throw them up for 25 bucks. And they don't sit. They usually don't sit on Craigslist here for more than two weeks. Oh yeah. So that's where I'm at now, man. I hardly ever find games at Goodwill anymore that are worth anything. So it's 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 all the other stuff, you know, the calculators and the stained glass, whatever's yeah. and the the straight thrifting items is which yeah, that's, that's what it's all about right now. Cause like his Goodwill won't let him uh, take the empty cases. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> but um, the, there's a Goodwill down the street from them. I hit them up all the time, but there's hardly any. The best thing I got out of there was like was Tomba for the um, PS One for three bucks. It was it nice. was scraped up, but overall it was it wasn't bad. So it was complete. And that same night, and it was a uh, I got a Sega, a Dreamcast game, and some other CD shit, some other. PS1 games in that night. But um yeah, the manager, I talked to her and and uh the, the clerk, she was like, Oh, this game is scratched up, we can't sell it. I said, well, What you gonna do with it? He said, Well, I, I gotta throw it away, can't put it on the floor. I said, Well shit, give it here. You know, it was a bullshit game, but I just wanted it for the PS2 case. And I said, Well, just at, talk to Jackie. So I told Jackie, I said, so you can have it. I'm like, cool. <laughs> like, I'll chuck the game, man. But I caught that on um, PS2 games I got today. It's, it's in good condition. I had to ask him because it was it's a mint case. I forgot what game it is. Damn, man. Yo, Jason, how long you been collecting adventure stuff? Um, Probably at least a decade. Like, it's... It's it it's hard to get like almost three hundred like Atari twenty six hundred games. So it's taken me probably at least ten years, like uh, just finding them in the wild. Cause I have I I like I don't even really shop off eBay too much. Yeah, rip, all in truth, yo, eBay is bullshit. But you know, what, for everybody that's in different places, what are you gonna do? Cause you're not gonna find a lot of this shit in the wild. Yeah. But so you've been, so you decided ten years ago. To just start collecting this old shit? Is that what you set out for? Um, you know, like I I used to have like three like three four systems at one time, and and whenever like a new one would come out, I trade in the oldest one. Yeah, and then I got <laughs> I, I got to the point where like I started getting sad, like oh I want to play my super, and then I would buy them, and I'd just be like you know I'm I'm just not selling it, I'm not selling it. Yeah, never again. Yeah, I know, cause man. Like back when I was getting my system, like in the nineties, and I was just playing shit. I wasn't. I was playing the games that I liked, and I didn't have a lot of them. And 
So I was getting, I was doing the same shit. Like some games I would trade in for new games or systems I'd sell, get rid of them. Then after a while, I was like, damn, man, I used to have all this shit. And then when I started collecting last June, I was like, damn, I had a lot of shit. I'd have a mm -hmm. decent leg up on what I had. And I was like, fuck, man. Well, but like, like those dudes, um, what's, them, uh, what's the cast name? With all the shit. Mm, what the fuck is his name? John Hancock, like dudes like that. Oh yeah, they had the foresight to just start collecting when the shit was feasible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if they doing like what we're doing in the past few years, there's no way you they had to shoot. They would have that shit. Yeah. But you know, it's because back then I didn't have foresight. I was just playing shit, running around, having fun, whatever. The foresight to collect games, like yo, this is gonna be valuable one day. Like, I, I think. I think I think when I started, um, like I, I was more into the hardware. Like I would buy a system, get like a handful of games, and then I'd be like, "Well, I need another system, and another system." Like I, I wouldn't even buy like twenty hundred games. Like there's like fifteen systems like right there behind me. I, like I don't know. I, I like I just I I try. I'm I, that's why I want the Vectrex. That's why I want the Neo Geo. That I want all the ones that oh, nobody's ever Neo Geo. That's what I want. Man. But the only thing is, my dilemma is that. All right, you pay the cake. However much you pay to get the, the system, the games is gonna be some bullshit though. That's the only thing I don't like about that. I'm gonna get the system like probably this year. Yeah, the games is the dilemma though. That's a fucking conundrum for your ass. Cause I wanted and I wanted a Neo Geo back in the day, but I was like, cause I had my super and and see, there's three systems that I really wanted. Was the in the '90s was the the Sega CD, the Saturn, and the Neo Geo, but I never just got around to getting them. I just was like, I'll get them whenever. I... Now you can't find that shit anywhere. You know, it's it's crazy. Yeah, I hardly ever see Sega CD stuff. All right, yeah. I just messed up, I just messed up my shelf. So like, Vectrex. I don't know if you see that. Damn, this shit's just boxed. Yo, that is crazy. Vectrex. Yo, that's crazy. Vectrex. I, I got some loose too, but they're hiding somewhere. Yo, that shit's fucking crazy. Yo, you get props for that shit. Man. Yo. <laughs> you get mad props for that. But yo, the, um, I just seen the Vectrex two of them recently in the shop. The first time I ever seen it, I'm like, damn, that's some vintage ass gear. That's cool to have right there. Tight, turn your TV down. Right here, let me. Jeff, what up? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear your TV also. Can you turn that down? Wait, hold on, please. I gotta go to you. I gotta go to YouTube. Hold on. The tubes. Yeah, on the tubes. Yeah. Um I think this one's like 100, 150, like for Vectrex too. I, I can't even get in. I don't know if I can see it. Yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Come on here with this bullshit. <laughs> this is hilarious. Damn, Jason. That's what's up, man. That's just nice right there. Where the fuck is YouTube at? <laughs> Gorgeous skin and amazingly strong nails. Uh, I don't know how to shit. <laughs> All right, hold on. Yo, you got that other that other vintage one that's just like the Vetrix? The Odyssey? Is that the one you had at, right? Yeah, I got the Odyssey too. Damn, man. Right. That's crazy. And then the crazy thing is, the one shop I go to, the dude, somebody brought him my Odyssey. That shit is mint. That shit's crazy. I'm like, what are these people? What do they keep this shit and just decide to get rid of it? Yeah, it's insane. But what I realized after being asked over and over again, I decided to make what I finally realized that people. What is what is what's Ty White doing, man? I don't know what he's doing. He's real, he's real ambiguous. Can't see me. I mean, I'm listening to the news in the Houston, in the greater Houston area. 
<laughs> they talking about the rain and how muggy it is. So tomorrow it's gonna be hot. <laughs> it's not gonna be July hot, but it's gonna be hot. All right, tight. You there, brother? Yeah, so whenever I buy that Vectrex off of eBay, it's going right on my kitchen table and it's it's never leaving. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> it's never leaving the table. Wait, can you, wait, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, Jeff, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Ground control to Major Tom. Yeah, I don't I don't know where that feedback's coming from. I got it I got everything off. Oh, I'm not hearing any feedback. Yeah, he's the only one hearing his own feedback. Yeah, I can hear you guys. My check one two one two. Check out the gravel pit. Check out yo. Check out my gravel pit. <laughs> Go old school. That shit's old. Back when mm-hmm. rapping hip hop was actually good. What's wrong with the bullshit right now? This is oh, it's horrible. Bullshit. It's all beats machines you and auto tune. You can't tell it's the best bullshit you ever heard in your life, right? It's terrible. That's what I'm saying. The best bullshit, it doesn't get any better than that because, you know, sometimes you get that bullshit that's bullshit, but then you get that hot, fresh, steamy bullshit that's fresh out the bull's ass. You know what I'm saying? That's the bullshit that's out right now. Yeah. Bullshit. Holy shit, I'm hearing some feedback. Bad company. Yeah, Jeff, you're the only one that's hearing it. We're, we're all Lima Charlie. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. I think I... I I think I'm good now. I got to show you guys what I picked up today. Nope. You guys want to see what I got from Half Price Books today? Yeah, but it's dark as fuck. Yeah. Here, <laughs> no, I don't want to see it. Here, hold on a second. I don't want to see it. I'll wait for the pickup video. It's cool. <laughs> he said he's cool with it. Yo, I mean, why do I need to get pissed off at 8.41 in the p.m.? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His videos, you'd be like, man, that's bullshit. <laughs> Where the fuck did I find that shit? What, would you get another 3,000 Wii games for two ninety nine dollars apiece? <laughs> <laughs> he got a Vectrex and shit. <laughs> That'd be, I, I got this Vectrex for four ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. The Vectrex didn't come with the box. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> that shit's crazy. Yo, what's your target price on it, Jay? Um, on the Vectrex? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Everybody says four hundred. Like the last time I checked, they went from like two fifty to four hundred. But it's mainly where is it coming from and how much does it cost to ship? So yeah, I I I I assume four hundred would probably be my limit, but I, I haven't checked in a while. Yeah, man, that's that's some nice nostalgia right there. Damn, that would be. But I I just bought Bonk's Adventure, which is like super expensive. I, I mean, I, I didn't pay retail, but like I I could have bought a Vectrex for that. So Bonk, you talking about Bonk for the, the 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 Turbo Graphics? Uh, Nintendo. They got one if on Nintendo. Look, if you, yeah, if you the look at it by eBay, it, it, it's expensive. Okay, the Bonk I remember was on the Turbo Graphics and shit. So that must have been later. Okay, Chris, talk. Chris, I got Chris muted. Chris, all right, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. All right, well, I was, all right, I was this, messing around on my uh, email, so I didn't want to want to disturb. This is what I, this is what I picked up at half price this books today, guys. Hopefully, right hopefully, 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 you can see it a little better. Um, so I got I got this. They had a little bar. They had a little uh, bargain bin today. They had a bunch of two dollar games there, but I really couldn't find anything, so I picked up this for two bucks. It's complete. Uh, Resident Evil Dark Chronicles. So for two bucks, it was worth picking that up. And then we were talking about this last night on the stream, man. I don't think you I have this for the PlayStation is. Two. Ah. Uh, nope. Ghost in the Shell. Uh, the uh, I don't think I had that. The uh, standalone complex. Yeah, I don't think I had. I don't think I ever seen that. that that's that's kind of uncommon. They go for like twenty, twenty five bucks. I picked it up for nine ninety nine, so that wasn't too bad. See, that's that half price bullshit. 
very nice condition too, man. This thing is in sweet condition. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I want, that, then, I want that game for sure. And then the nice lick that I hit today, uh, I had to pay twenty bucks for it, but it goes for at least forty bucks. Mm -hmm. Ooh, on the set, uh, Dreamcast, right? Yeah, Marvel versus Capcom one. Yeah, that's nice. Nineteen ninety nine. The first one. What? Yeah, one went today on eBay for like forty something bucks. Yeah. So I have, uh, yeah, I, was, I have part two. I was two happy about that. On three different systems. Definitely happy about that. So that's that's how I started my week off. Yeah, that's three good. pickups. Yo, Jeff, you get your shit yet? You get your shit. What's up? Yeah, I got it. You? Yeah, oh no, nah, that's next week. I'm about to see you then. No, that's that's not till next week. Yeah, no, I got when I was at the store today, they gave me some yellow coupons. The same thing as that, but I, if I check the mailbox, I'm sure those are in there. Yeah, now I gotta go so, find yeah. I gotta find me at least two more sets of these. Yeah. Yeah, that's going down what spring break, right? Yeah. Yeah, I love when that happens. I make a whole video about it. Yeah, I Usually. know. Fucking find Kuan and shit and hide that shit. Hey, <laughs> hey I was tell I was telling you in the comments earlier, but you didn't see it. Um, I pick I saw that uh Mario that that uh, mansion game like four months ago. It's been sitting at that uh, half price books. I almost grabbed it, man. I was I was close to grabbing it, but I said, you know what, I'm gonna leave it alone. And one had sold on eBay for like one at the time I saw it, one had sold for like one fifty, one sixty. So I was kinda like, Oh man, maybe I need to get this and just just flip it real quick. But um I, I went ahead and left, you know, I thought better of it and just left it. But uh it's not a bad price, man. I mean you know, black label. I mean, down the line, man. You keep that for ten years. Who knows how expensive that game? Yeah, it's not something you see every day. No, for sure. you don't. It's it's a conundrum when you you see that and you be like, "Fuck, do I want it?" It's a good price, but do I really want to pay that shit? So the only reason I when, got it is because I got the coupon and I got rid of some shit. Yeah, when did you get that? You say um, you got that two uh, weeks the, ago, about two weeks ago. Yeah, it's been there for like it's five been there months. Now. I've been watching. I'm it. surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised it's still there. Yeah. Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> Cause I've been watching it and watching it. I said, all right, well, I kept plotting. I'm gonna get rid of some shit just so I can feel good about see, getting it. So you should have waited for the fifty percent off. You should have uh, went ahead and told them to to. You should have uh, put it on hold. I don't know what that store does. That probably they probably got a three day, but you should three day it. They only do one. Oh, they do one. See, that's the problem with that store. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I remember that store. They're fucked yep. up. That's that's the problem with that store. One is not enough. <laughs> no, it's not because you you're plotting, man. You can come yeah. up with the best plan. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't know they do it in spring break. I the only one I knew of was the holiday and Fourth of July. I yeah, didn't they, really, I would have yeah. waited. Yeah, spring break is a big one. They do that I every year. That. Cause last year was the first time that I got coupons, so I was like, "Oh shit!" And I got them in July for the fourth. Why did Dan? Uh, why did Dan leave so quick, Chris? He had to get. Good. Um, I, I don't Here's know, <laughs> but like, um, you know, he always like ducks out at like seven thirty, eight, eight thirty. I think that's like when he has dinner with his girlfriend and stuff. So he oh. might be back. He's one of these people that has to have dinner at a certain time. Like he's, um, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe the girlfriend gets off at a certain time. I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Jeff, leave him alone. That's fucked up. The, the you, secret, the secret life of Rebel Gaming Club. So, you, so, you, so you're saying his girlfriend runs his life? Is that what you're saying? No, you say no. I just say he enjoys to have uh, dinner. He treats his lady nice. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you can't put that bullshit in you, and though he's like. You hey. know, you gotta go. <laughs> hey, who was saying they were mad about the uh, weapons breaking on uh, Zelda? Was that bad company? Well, yeah, well, him too, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll... yeah. And so, then. so, you see my text earlier, Chris, about uh, Lisa <laughs> using the whip on Paul, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hoping that that, hoping that his weapon breaks or her weapon breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Come man, stop that shit. Crack, cracking that whip. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be nice to him, man. You gotta, he, you're gonna break him. Now, well, Paul needs to get on with us tonight. He needs to jump yeah, on this I stream. I haven't talked to three P forever. I know. What's up, man? Why don't you go ahead and send him an invite? So, who has uh, Neo Geo games? Anybody? 
Ah, sim, um assino filme. Ó. Não, porque oh. <laughs> I, I, I only have one. I got one. Yeah? Shit, man. Yo, nah. Five, yo. <laughs> yo. I want the Neo Geo. Jeff, you got Neo Geo? No. You want no. one? No. <laughs> like, oh, nah. Too much money. I don't want yeah, to deal that. It's a lot of fucking loot. Yeah. It's like, bought, it's, it's so fucking huge. Yeah, I know. The yeah. box is just stupid retarded. I'm like, what the fuck is that? First time I ever seen one. I was like, what is that shit? I mean, you'll see those at retail at the uh, retro video game yeah, stores in, in Houston. But, you know, it's like, if you make that $250 commitment to buy it, that's like the cheapest you're going to spend money yeah, on the yeah, damn thing. Yeah. The games are $250 a piece. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, man. The system's yeah. like four or something. Is it? it? Go up towards four, yeah. Upwards of four. Three on up. That's the eight yes. Three, four. Yeah, it's, that's a crazy system to get into. Will Barron's saying that he's playing uh, Castlevania three right now. Will Barron? Oh, Will Barry and sent me Castlevania three and uh, Castlevania two. Two on, yeah. the on the trade. Yeah, I just did that recently, right? Mm hmm. Yep. Trying to get that uh, Earthbound from him. <laughs> you know what he said? Every <laughs> big man. <laughs> That's a tall order right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tall order. Well, I got Mega Man 3. Chris is a big Mega Man fan, and I don't think he has every Mega Man. You don't have every one, Chris? <laughs> I so. don't. Uh, I, I'm not going to spend a hundred and something dollars on five. And uh, honestly, I've never really even seen six at a game store or a convention. But uh, I've got, you know, the, the uh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection for the Cube. So that's good for now. I got that Mega Man 6 on the Saturn, in case you guys don't know. I got what? that. No, I, I got that. that shit. Oh, yeah, I was showing it off in the trade stream, remember? I was holding it up. It was on the shelf behind oh, me. it was complete, and it was sitting there. Oh, the time, yeah. Right? yeah. That's Mega, yeah. Man, Mega Man 8, the Anniversary Edition. Oh, wait. No, it's not the Anniversary Edition. No, you have. Yeah, I remember now. You have one. Yeah, because there's, there's two of them. There's an anniversary edition. It's got a little gold uh, medallion on it, and then there's a uh, regular edition. You're saying it's eight, not six? Yeah. Okay, it's eight, but it's not the anniversary edition. Mega Man 8. Okay. Yeah, it's an expensive one. It's worth like 200 bills now, or $200 now. Yeah. yeah 150 or 175 Chris, which six are you talking about? The for Nintendo. Oh, I'm talking about six, uh, six on the NES. NES? Because the first six... The first six were on the NES, and then seven was on Super, and then eight was on, uh, you know, PlayStation One and Saturn. Yeah, eight. Yeah, there you go. Eight. So you're looking for six. Uh, X six was actually on the PlayStation One. Yeah, X four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. Trying to think what well. six, right? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, I think I'm missing six. I I'm missing six on the uh, NES. Five and six. I got, I got five and six. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm not really looking for them, and I probably wouldn't buy them just because they're so expensive, you know. Yeah, yeah. Six isn't that bad. Six is probably what forty bucks. Yeah, but like I said, it's a game that I play on my anniversary on the GameCube, so don't really need it. What's your uh, favorite Mega Man, Chris? I would have to say two. Two, because uh, yeah. I grew up with that, and then uh, three. Two was actually the first Mega Man that I played. Um, I didn't play Mega Man 1 until later. But uh, I do love X for Super Nintendo. Yeah, that's a good that's a good one right there. Um, the guy that I'm sending the um, the the game the um, I already did today, I sent him the Super Smash Brothers Melee. He's sending me uh, Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah so that's cool. Yeah, that's what's so up. You know, you don't see that's a sexy little spine right there. You don't see you don't see those du the the you don't see a double yeah. double stack like that. The words usually on PlayStation Two spines. Yeah, that's they just the, shrink the font. Yeah, that's one of the first games that I've seen that has a double stack. This is the this is the du double stack word variant video game. <laughs> right. Yeah. Captain Retro said he'll trade Mega Man two, three, and four and X for the Earthbound. 
<laughs> no, that's and not going. That's not going to do it. Basically, Wood, Woodbury, and in a really nice way, said, "Go fuck yourself." You see that, Hob? Hob, <laughs> you see that? Double stack words. The fuck is that? That's Double. that ghost in the shell. See how you don't see a spine like that generally. Nah. See how the double stack words? Yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, flip that shit over. What? Yo, that's crazy. You don't ever see that. Nah. Yeah, they just that shrink looks, the words. They they yeah. make the font smaller. Yeah, they. That's what usually happens. Or uh, Cap, Cap Retro is throwing in a uh, uh, copy of Tron Tron Bonnie. It's just right. Yeah, you say bone? That's funny. Tron bone. Oh bone. yeah, Chris was saying bone last night. Yeah, I'm I don't know how these Bond. fucking names are pronounced on these games. They just make collectors just make the whatever the shit's called. Like I say, trombone. I don't know. That's what that's what everybody else calls it. Trombone. You say trombone. He <laughs> turned that shit into a porno. <laughs> you see, it's he's the eighth member of. Uh, <laughs> I'm the eighth member of the Get Fresh crew. <laughs> He's yeah, a, like eight like member of Bone Thugs and Harmony. There's Busy Bone, Lazy Bone, Tron Bone, and Tron Bone. <laughs> well, don't talk, don't talk rap. Uh, Tron see him, uh, What's it called? Ain't gonna like that. Um, Captain Retro. <laughs> don't, talk, don't talk rap. Don't talk no rap music. And now Captain Retro is throwing in X Four Legends One and Two. Yeah, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this uh, Woodbarian's way if I can get. Matter of fact, I'll throw all my pickups today from Half Price Books to Woodbury. <laughs> if I can just get, if I can just scratch and sniff those stickers from that, uh, no, I won't do that. I'll, I'll leave them alone. Who who would to think that he would get the scratch and sniff stickers with that complete? That's just who would think you'd get the shit complete? Blows my mind. Yeah, to have the the actual extra shit that comes with it—that's crazy. That's insane. It blow, blows my mind. It really does. Yeah, I still can't believe it. Yeah, it's a find for sure. Listen, I didn't put. Oh, guess what showed up? It just says your package has arrived. Vampire Night with the Gun Con. Yeah, that's. I'd like to add that to my collection. Yeah, you know what? I'm a little bit up on the air whether I'm going to open that though because it's factory sealed. Ooh. It'd be best just to probably sell the gun con off and buy it used, you know, because you can get Vampire Night for twenty bucks. I'm sure I can get twenty for the gun con. Yeah. Well, when you find those things, you know, like loose out in the wild, that you know, they're they're always missing that T cable. Yeah, this one came with the T cable. Uh, the seller said that the T cable came with it, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I got about. I think I got about eight or nine gun cons right now, but I only have uh two or three sets of uh, the T cables right. and some, some guy was selling those, uh, I don't know, it was probably two years ago and he had like five or six gun con twos and they all had the cables with them. And uh, I said, how much do you want for all of them? He said five bucks a piece. So for 30 bucks, I bought all of them. So I've got like two or three of those T cables left. Oh, that's great. That's great. I don't know so, if you remember, I was having problems using my Elgato until I utilized the strength of the T cables. And the T <laughs> yeah. cables are actually, uh, that's how I have my Elgato hooked up right now. So those are great. So now, Tanner, so now I only have one T cable for my 25 gun cons. Chasing the classics. What's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by. Another great uh, Sunday Fun Day contest this, this past week, and you guys are closing in on 300 subs, which is fan freaking tastic. Michael, Mike saying Laurel is the eighth member of the Game Wizard crew. Word. Oh, okay. So this is what you're talking about when you when you're saying the T, right? Yep, that's it. All right. Well, is this the PS2? You know. That looks like one of those Joy-Con. Not Joy-Con, but uh, yeah, it's Scorpion. It says Scorpion on it. I don't know what. I don't know what's the other. Can... What's the other end of it look like? It has the PS2, PS1 connection. Huh. You can see it? Can you see it? Yeah, I can jump on eBay real quick. What's it called? The Scorpion. Yeah, Scorpion. Gun Con. So 
What is this piggybacking for? Where did where did you get that? Some uh off of Craigslist. Some dude had a box full of shit. I was looking for one game out the whole thing. And he I think like 50, 60 bucks or something for all the shit he had. I can't remember what he had. It was just a box full of shit. And really I paid for just that game and a lot of other good shit. That game is all I paid for. That extra shit, it was some good extra shit in there. Yeah, this was one of them. Uh, yeah, that, that Scorpion is a play. It's a uh, uh, Japanese. So it's off brand. You no, it, it's a, it's an actual gun con, but okay. it looks like it's an import from Japan. And you know how, like in Japan and Europe, the rules are a little bit different. They can make guns that look like that. <laughs> yeah, like you can make a gun like, like that. Like, what is this? Yeah, I think I got that same one you're talking about, Chris. Because because there's one that's it's like black and it's almost like a desert eagle and it's pneumatic, so the slide comes back <laughs> when you pull the trigger. You know, when it's plugged in. But uh, yeah, it's really sweet. Somebody picked one of those up. Was it Paul? No, Paul it was me. Walmart? Tight white picked yeah, one of those up. That was me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, that was me that picked that up. I also picked up that uh I don't know if y'all remember I picked up that uh that Uzi that that, that thing goes cack, 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 cack. it's freaking like uh electric the gun's electric man it just the it kicks back the kickback on it is just crazy on that it makes all kinds of noise like you could never literally you could never play a video game with that thing making all that noise it's like the stupidest thing but <laughs> I, I, I I I never got it I just I mean it's cool to have but I don't think I'm going to be using it anytime soon. Uh, Rebel Gaming Club is back in, and the Rainbow Hater saying that this is total shit. What was that one guy? That's total you, shit. The one Thanks, guy buddy. out of there that was uh, doing the whole Z <laughs> thing and acting, you know, saying blah, blah, blah. And Rainbow all that Hater. <laughs> so what is he, hating rainbows, or he hating himself for being a – what is he hating? I don't know. Rainbow Hater, that sounds real stupid. So this is the PS2 one, though, right? That's uh, PS1. The PS2 ones are like bright orange. All right. Those are sweet, though. Those are the Namco yeah, Gun Con ones. Yeah, some big shit. Yeah, I like this. For Time Crisis and yeah. Point Blank. And uh, I think Dino Crisis, you can do it with Dino Crisis, too, right? Uh, Dino Crisis. Um, I don't know. You can use it on Dino Crisis for the PS One. That's the Resident Evil type game, right? There was one on the PS Two called Dino Stalkers. There was also a really awesome uh, gun con game for the PS One called Elemental Gear Bolt. Yeah, that's my shit. Yo, that is my one like of my favorite on-rail. pickups. Yeah, I've never I've never seen that game, but it's a game that I would totally play. Yeah, yo, I tried it out. It's Cause you know we can't use that shit now with the with the new TVs. We can't do that shit. So I was playing it with the stick. It, it fucks you up. You could tell it would be a lot easier with the gun. Cause the yeah. stick, that shit was not easy. I was like, oh. it's a nice game, but I was like, oh. I guess I had to get a pregnant CRT to check it out. <laughs> I've got one. I got a CRT. In my- <laughs> you still got it? Just in case. Yeah, we've got two down there. Oh man, I can't fuck with them anymore. Moving them shits is not fun. Man. Yeah. Oh, Chris! Y'all wow, Ra- Rainbow that. Hater just said he was kidding, and then uh, Bad Company said Rainbow Hater, go fuck yourself. <laughs> wow, Bad Company, Bad Company drawing gangster man, getting Bad some company. heat, drawing some heat. Is, <laughs> yeah, Bad Company don't mess around. around. <laughs> I may have to kick you out, Bad Company. First, you're getting you know in Captain Retro's face, and now you're getting in Rainbow Hater's face. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Chris, I found my shit. Oh, shoot. You know what? Yeah, what'd you was get? The wrong thing. You see? Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. Oh, oh yeah. Mega Man 6. Yo, yeah. and I, I'm looking at the shit. It has somebody's, uh, it has a clear, you know those, uh, those address labels that people put on their envelopes? Yeah. They have a clear one in this. Jim and Alice Bollinger, 4939 Joy Street, Chubbuck, Idaho. <laughs> Um, it's crazy where these games come from and shit. Yeah, I, I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the worst bullshit is those rental stickers. You be like, all right, yeah, well, we know who the fuck rented this game out. Oh, I forgot. I forgot I was bidding on something. 
Yeah, Michael, or, uh, Jason's got one too. Yeah, great. Okay, Everybody's yeah. got a copy of Mega Man 6 except poor CM Retro. Fine, whatever, I got, guys. I got five. Power uh, player Paul, what's up, man? I got, you got five, five too. as well? You want to <laughs> trade five and six for some uh, Intellivision games? Um, I don't know. I, I have one through six. I, I don't have any doubles. Wait, wait, get Paul in here. Yeah, I sent him an invite. That boy in here. If you're interested, Chris, this is clean too. The label's clean. Hey, what are you what are you looking for? What games and stuff? What systems? Oh, uh, let me see. What do I really look for? Really cool. Oh, no. oh, 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 you just fucked up your whole shit. Oh. <laughs> What was it? That sounds like thirty thousand dollars worth of broken games to me. They were all <laughs> they were all in case. Drop your brew. <laughs> what the hell was that? A whole set oh. like, like ten games falling. Well shit, that ain't that ain't too bad. Did you drop more the now. You dropped the brew. Man. That's it. No, I got it. I I got it. <clears throat> all right. Well, we can live with that. I was about to open this, but I thought I thought it was something else. I better hold off on that. I'm gonna hold off on that for the channel. Who needs a copy of Disney Sing It for PS2 sealed? Me, 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 yeah, me, me. I mean, that's oh, I'll totally send Wii. that to you. Sing hey, hey, if that's on the Wii, Dan will take it. Guaranteed. <laughs> hey, hold on, I'm gonna check outside to see if I got a box on my porch. Yeah, Power Player Paul, we sent you uh, an invite, so if you want to go to your Google Gmail or whatever and join us. All right, what else did I lose? Would uh, he's thinking uh, Paul, Paul, but geez, I can't even speak right now. Power Player Paul is asking uh, Woodbury if he's thinking about trading his Earthbound, which is an amazing find, by the way. And then uh, Woodbury saying he's actually still thinking about it, whether getting rid of it or not. And I don't know if I could get rid of something like that. I'd probably play it. No. You know, Earthbound's like an RPG that I would. I'm not a big RPG guy, but I'd totally try and play it. Um, well, uh, and chasing the classic says uh, Mega Man Six. Nice. I mean, I have it on the uh, anniversary collection. No, man, it's not the same, Chris. You know that shit's not the same. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm I, just trying to play. I'm just trying to play it. That's off. like trying to say, yeah, I got an Atari 2600, but you know, the flashback one out of Walgreens. <laughs> Perfect. 1999 got the whole library. That's what I was saying. I was, I was getting kind of mad that he was trying to mix my shit up with the anniversary collection. That's what I got. I got no. I got the real no, legit. No, no. no, Tight White, they made two different versions of that Sega Saturn game. Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. But the, but the anniversary collection, the anniversary one, I think, is the work a lot less, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't think it's that value. Because I've got eight for uh, PlayStation 1, and they did the exact same thing. Yeah, they have the anniversary. Like he's standing there doing some shit with his fingers. Right? Yeah, it's different. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's two different ones. Or like the one on the PS4 and shit. Don't they have one on the PS4 like that? Tell you what, this game looks kind of interesting. For the Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. Yeah, that is dope. I've never seen a spine like that. That's very uh that's very pal. I wanna get ghost of the show on pal pal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looks very pal. <laughs> yeah. Pal does pal does some shit like that. They kinda look like that. Not the United States. Yeah, that shit. Yo, have y'all have y'all played that Dark Side Chronicles? I'm I've never played that. Nobody's think, played it? I think I did play it. it, it um is is that the one where you have to use a light gun for it? I think so. I think it's a shooter. Yeah, it yeah, is I a play, shooter. Yeah I, I, yeah, I played it. It's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a light gun game, yeah. I'm down with that. I said I had to send off my boy Old Dog. Uh, oh, Power Player Paul will want to hear this. So, so Paul, I sent off Old Dog um, a copy of uh, Battlefield two today so he'll have it for this weekend what's up paul sweet yeah man for sure the what up paul is hanging out power player paul. what's up man what's up, dog? thanks for stopping by brother 
Sorry, I'm like distracted right now. I'm missing a Mega Man game on my PlayStation well, 1. You I can't find it. that some bitch. It's right here. Y'all got you. It's right here. Yeah, you ain't got it, bro. You ain't got that shit. Stuff. <laughs> I, mean, I, got, I got Mega Man. I got Legend. <laughs> you ain't got that. You ain't got that. <laughs> I do have it. I, sh- I do. <laughs> I'm gonna get out. You ain't got that, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it was. I found it. It was right next to my copy of Team Buddies. That's where oh, it was. I, found it. I found it. I got oh, it. Yo, where'd you I get did, that loose shit from? I, Ooh, I got it from drop. a cash in advance for ninety nine cents. From where? Advance. It's like a pawn shop cash checking loan place. Uh, in Ohio, they take like electronics and jewelry, <laughs> and uh, they had a box in the back. And I said, "You got any old video game stuff?" And she said, "No, all we have is, uh, you know, 360 oh, PS3." Careful. And I said, "Well, I can see right back there. You got there's a box that has place." Well, she brought out a tub, and it was—I yeah, mean, it was all shit, you know, Madden games or whatever. But the uh, the one jewel in there, <laughs> was team buddies. buddies. And I said. Uh, so how much is this PlayStation One game? She goes, "Oh, that's an old game. We'll do uh, ninety nine cents." <laughs> okay. Ain't that a bitch? Yeah. I wish I had my shit for ninety nine cent. Yeah, I wish I could find a case and manual for. It. I almost traded it to Tight White, but I don't think it's in the condition that he wants. It's uh, it's got a lot of light surface scratches, nothing deep. So I might get, I might get it resurfaced. It works, but I don't well, know. I, I wish I could find I the case. Played it. I feel bad about that. Actually, no, I don't. I got too much shit. To try to so like, eh, like a bunch of big-headed midgets running around or something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that's weird. the bullshit about a lot of these damn so-called rare games. They're bullshit. A lot yeah. of bullshit. I mean, I think Klonoa's good. It's all right, man. That one is it's all right, man. It's Even goofy. though I haven't tried it. <laughs> it's goofy as fuck. I couldn't play it anymore. I stopped, man. I really? Like, yeah, no, that sucks. You're fucking yeah. flying and shit with your ears. It, it, yeah, oh, it's, all right, it's cool. But I just and I have Klonoa too, and it's about the same shit, man. Oh, on the PS2. Right. I just wasn't in the mood to play that that goofy shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what Baron saying? You guys, you guys make him so jealous. He has no Mega Man games. Well, brother, you could probably sell that Earthbound and then buy all the Mega. Man <laughs> you have all the Mega Mans you want. Yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah, that's what he needs to do. No, he needs to get toilet and get rid of that. What is he? What are you showing off there? What is that, Mega Man? That was yeah. That was, that was Mega Man too. Oh, it's a great game. Uh, Retro Scro is asking Chris, do you still have that boxed Battletoads uh, Double Dragon? I do. Ooh. Right there, complete with the Battletoads and Battle Maniacs poster. Got Ooh. this at a garage sale, essentially for free. By the time I sold it off, it's actually free. And then I just paid the eighty bucks for the cartridge. Now I got now I got that uh speaking of garage sales, I got the Battle Toads Battle Maniacs for basically for free. The super, at a garage sale. Yeah, the super, the super Nintendo, Nintendo the, the Super nice. Nintendo one. Yeah, complete in box. Ooh. Bought a huge tub of like PC games for twenty bucks and they had that, that game stuck in there with uh uh Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo in box complete. Yeah, shit's crazy. So it was like, okay, <laughs> I'll take it. I'm gonna have to fix my whole show. Tight White had all the games. Did you fuck that shit up, Jason? You got all the games, Paul. You got all the games, baby. Look, look, look. Tight White, you got this one? What yeah, I got that one. Mega Man. Yeah, yeah we got what about this Mega one. Man? Mega Man? Yeah, Mega Man. What about this one? Everybody's flashing blue bombers. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> oh, he showed all the Mega Mans. This is a flash. How about that one, Tight White? Hey, you might be one? in the. Might be in the running for Woodbarian's, uh, for Woodbarian's game. Would... <laughs> Earthbound, yeah. I know. I can trade all these for, uh, for Earthbound. Look at that. There you go. There you there go, go Woodbarian. <laughs> you get... Hey, Paul, you got that? Double stack words? <laughs> Double stack words. <laughs> <laughs> What's that game going for? Took me a second. You got that pal, you got that pal style? You got that pal? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is just so ironic. We was talking about that shit, and you find it. I know that's crazy, right? Yeah. This goes for uh, it goes for twenty, but then some somebody paid thirty seven for it the other day, forty bucks. It it, it jumps up and down. Uh, it looks like uh, twenty twenty five bucks is not super common. 
And then sealed copies, there's one for 55 and 70. I didn't realize the Ghost in the Shell on the PlayStation 1 was that expensive. I oh, yeah. 70 bucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How That's much? Yeah, so it's, not, it's right. not 30 bucks. Ghost in the Shell is 60 bucks yeah. easily. 60 on yeah, the, the, the one I'm looking at right now on eBay, Ghost in the Shell for PlayStation 1, 70 bucks by now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It normally sells from 60 to 70. That's, that's about right. You got that, Paul? For about 40, 45. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, Paul, do you have that? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, did, I just been playing mm. this. <laughs> oh wait, hold up, hold up. Paul's hold ready, up. man. He's got games this. Right by his side, like a gunfighter. Yeah. All right, tonight, tonight he's like a gunfighter. Yeah, he's got he's a clip like full of shit. Yo, he's got big guns. Oh, you got that? Paul, you got that? What was Paul, that? that? What was that? Oh, no, fuck, he's ready. Paul, oh. everybody, that's why he's got Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Chrono Trigger is this shit. Yo, everybody out here flashing this shit. <laughs> chasing the classic, chasing the classic says anybody got Mega Man Legends two complete? Bang, I got it. <laughs> from YouTube for Flash. Oh, got Legends two. Oh, got it for a dollar forty seven at an auction. That shit's crazy. Hobbs got like six <laughs> copies of that. I know. Sealed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, retro Retro Scrooge asking, what's everyone's most wanted Nintendo game? Uh, for me, it's. I'm only going for like my childhood set. <laughs> But it would be like Casino Kid 2 and uh, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero. Well, NES. Most oh, wanted yeah, Nintendo okay. game, Metroid Prime 4, of course. Yeah. You know, why NES, not? NES game. Oh, NES? Uh, that's a tough one. Yeah. On the NES, I probably want... Uh, uh, I got most of the ones I played as a kid. The Russian Attacks, the Contras, oh, the, the, Golden, okay. the Ghost and Goblins, and the, all, the, all the good stuff. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a little Samson. That'd be cool. Yeah. Just, just to play because I've heard it's really fun. Mm. Or Bucky O'Hare, which isn't quite as expensive. But yeah, that's, that's really a good fun. one. That's a good one. I, I wouldn't mind getting. Um, uh, what's the one with where he had the the cartoon adaptation where he's got the the purse like the the big brief. Uh, the, it's it's like a rabbit. Ah, what the hell is the name of that game? Uh, Donnie Darko. No, it's worth some money. It's a uh, platformer um, where you're a uh, – holy shit, I can't think of the name of it. You threw me off. I don't know how to do a rabbit with a suitcase or – what was you saying? Yeah, it used to be a famous cartoon uh, way back. Like, I mean, back in the, the 40s, oh, like, shit. this cartoon Felix started. Did Felix, Felix, the Felix the Cat. Felix the Cat. I oh, love Felix that game. <laughs> That's what I want to get for the uh, NES. Felix the Cat. That'd be a good one. I answer your question, sir. <laughs> yeah. Who's who's next? NES. I don't think Apoc went. Apoc's not in here. He'll be Wait. back later. He's editing a video or something. I, I thought I saw him <laughs> earlier, but yeah, maybe I missed. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> no, that, that's Hob. That's not Apoc. Hmm. Paul, Paul thought he saw, saw Tupac instead of Apoc. <laughs> Yo, the, uh, <laughs> on the, um, <laughs> so when they brought Popeye to the NES, was it the same as the arcade? I think I think so. I, I remember that that version. But I know Double Dragon. They fucked up Double Dragon when they brought it to the NES. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that I, I found the Sega Master System one at a, at a thrift store for a dollar in the box. That's the original. It's the arcade version. I, yeah. I believe so. All right, the I Sega it. Master uh, Double Dragon. They claim it is. They claim it's a true arcade port, but I don't remember playing it in the arcade, so I don't really have a <laughs> comparison. Is shit. I can't remember if I can beat Double Dragon. I kind of want to put my skills to the test. Shit. To beat it. Yo, I got that shit down to a quarterback in a day. Oh Look yeah, as walls and shit at the end, the walls that fuck you up. Yeah, and I told whoever wanted to play with me, I was like, "Look, I got this shit down to a quarter. We're gonna be a team." <laughs> but when it's at the end, that bitch is mine. So you just don't play at the end, leave because that bitch is mine. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny. You're like, <laughs> put up <on> <laughs> shit. You're like, all right, bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up when I see you at the end. You hit my bitch <laughs> like that. 
Now, somebody was showing a Double Dragon remake. Uh, I, I want to say it was on the PSN network, or maybe it was a physical release on the PS4. Did anybody see that? Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. In a massacre, or somebody was was showing it. They were playing the PS4 version of it. Why am I getting a call? Yeah, is that it's a there was a Double Dragon Four. I'm pretty sure that was like a fan made type thing, where they took it back to that like retro eight bit style, and uh, they sort of made a new game. Oh, what you is know it? who that was? That was Rip. That was uh, um, not Metal, <coughs> not Metal Jesus, but the the black dude uh, Reggie. Reggie, yeah. He was doing it on his channel. I, I, that's where I saw that. Yeah, you might. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's a homebrew. Oh, you're talking about uh, that I Saturday morning shit. Is that what it is? Uh, it was a Double Dragon Four, I think. Oh, okay. Nah. Yeah. Man. The shit Five, I'm thinking six. of is a Saturday morning retro PS4 limited run shit. Oh no, you know it was one of those. I think it's oh. a download only. Oh, uh, Chris, we just got a text from Clint. <clears throat> Blast Mode 7 about the shooter competition. Yeah. All right, you want me to read it to you? Um, I mean, if it's real yeah. worthy. Did he, no. did he text it to everybody? He said, yeah. He says, no, I still want to do this. It's just been rough the last month or so, especially the last couple of weeks. When do you plan to release Bracket B? So he he's in it. Okay. I can only assume that maybe Long Shot's out of it. Yeah, it's a bit of a long time. Oh, no, I'd say give him another week. Because, I like, well, yeah, like, like you said, we're not in a super big rush. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, we, we do need to sort of get this going. Because what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to do uh, first round for the green portion of my bracket and then first round for the uh, red portion. So I have all the first rounds done, and then we can. I'll just do another video for green and red, and then another video for orange and blue. So that's really one, two, three, four, and then I'll do my final four or whatever as one video. So I'm looking at four or five videos to go before I get to the end of mine. Go line hunter. <laughs> it's a contender. Try, hunter. It's going up against going up against Aki Katana in the first round, though. It'll be pretty rough. Pretty rough. So, but I, I don't, yeah, like, I don't know what them guys want to do. Hmm. What's going on in the chat? Uh, nothing. I'm just going to look up uh, this Double Dragon 4, figure out what exactly this. <laughs> I think it was a PS4 uh, download only, or that's where I saw it. I, I saw it on PS4 on a. I was watching a corn shack. Hmm. Yeah, they're running a big. It looks like still running a big promo for it on uh, <clears throat> Steam. Okay, Steam. So there's no physical on it. Nope. It says uh, Windows Seven, Eight Point One, Windows Ten processor. It's got all the stuff that you need. It comes in English, Japanese, French, simplified Chinese, and traditional Chinese. Oh, shit. I didn't know that it was easy as Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks, it looks pretty cool. I mean, like I said, it looks like they kept that 8-bit style to it. I didn't think Super Double Dragon was that bad. I'd actually like to finish that game. No, what's the, which is the one at the arcade that had that? the tornado bullshit? Hurricane Kick or some shit. I don't know. Well, Super Double, Super Double Dragon's fun. Yeah, it's a pretty good uh, beat 'em up on the SNES. Uh, what's Alex saying? Alex is saying he was at dinner. Okay, <laughs> we're here now. And hey, Michael's talking about the uh, the uh, Bobo's World Tour thing that they did on Cinemassacre. I remember that. It was um. The Bobo one dude was cheap. Was uh was that James and Mike did that right? James is in so few of the videos on his channel anymore. You know what I mean? It must be nice. It's it like pretty much Mike Mate all day. <laughs> yeah, Mike, Mike and Ryan, Mike and Bootsy, Mike and his mom. You know what I mean? Like it's just. 
Paul, you got that so shit? Right there, Paul. Some ga- Paul, you got that shit, Paul? Game, <laughs> Come back with this shit. Paul, you got that shit, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> No, my, my, my computer died. I go digging around in his closet. No, my computer died. <laughs> I swear, man, my computer died. <laughs> That's, what happens. That's what happens when you're running porn in the background, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> Emailing that girl Guilty on eBay. Guilty as charged. Guilty as charged, my brother. Girls all like, want to buy my game? I don't have the boobs, though. I got man boobs. So I want to see them. Oh, yeah. That, that one chick does pretty good on eBay, man. That one chick does really well, man. The one I showed you guys. Yep. You know? I think I found that chick, too. Yeah, man. She, she's, uh, she's got it going on with the, you know. I mean, she she makes a, an $8 NES cart look a little little better than an eight dollar NES card. You might want to spend a couple more dollars on it, you know? It's worth two bucks more. I mean, you know, she's studying to be a lawyer or something, you know, she's gonna she's going you gotta put her through nursing school. Yeah, you gotta help her out. Help her out, man, of course. Yeah, you Strips out. on the weekend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Recreational. She's in the criminal justice program at Who Gives a Shit Community College. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Got something in the box here, Paul. Got something in the box. What's in the oh, box? Boy. Nothing special. Oh man, just just a little factory <laughs> seal vampire night. That's all. <laughs> pretty slick man i like those big box gun con games yeah it's pretty cool no uh, unfortunately it doesn't come able to find two of them. The, the big box unfortunately it doesn't come with that it's just a factory sealed video game with the gun oh, just, just a copy of the game would the, would the gun con lose uh, did you get, did you get it man wood bearing What's up, brother? Yeah, what's my up? man. Yo, what's, what's up? Wood Baron, <laughs> what's going on? Baron what bailed, out, bailed out last night on us, man. Uh, I said, uh, you know, I was getting out or whatnot, but nobody heard me. And I was a little bit upset about Bianca. I didn't mean to offend her by no means. I just didn't know that the dude that was supposed to be a dude in uh, Metroid. Metroid. Was oh, a, come on. We're just playing around with you, brother. Bianca wasn't mad. <laughs> yeah, Bianca wasn't mad. We're just messing around. G-Wald, whoa, welcome to the stream, man. G-Wald was in the stream last time. I don't remember you being in the streams before, but I do appreciate the support, man. I always leave a link. I need to add, I think, Jason and uh, 717 to the list. But if you go in the, the description, there's like 15 YouTuber channels there. Make sure you go and check a couple of those out, man. If you're into retro gaming and old stuff and new stuff and streams and collection videos, definitely check those out. And like I said, I'll add Jason, Jason and 717 to the list uh, tonight. I'm in the description section on YouTube. There's like uh, 15 or 20 channels that I – Put in there. Oh, for the stream, but the description for the stream, right? Yeah, that's on YouTube. On the okay. YouTube side, not the Google Hangout side. All right, got it. So people yeah, can I go need- and check out those channels because I'm I'm all about you know expanding the brand and yes, brotherhood. Our our our, our little team here, you know. I mean, we try and take each other as far as we can go. I need to sub with Woodburn and Jeff. Like, is that your name, Jeff? You ain't hey, white fucker right there. You You're not subbing me, me I already am. You're not Jason, subbing me. Right? I've seen you comment on my video before. You ain't subbed. Damn. <laughs> you're not. Yeah. You're. You're not subbed to me. I'm not. I thought I just subbed to you. No. Oh. oh okay. Okay. All right, all right. We're, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get that corrected. <laughs> Alex, we're gonna have to sub to you now. Alex wants to try and get in. Uh, brother, I got one, two, three, four, five in myself, so my internet's about at max. I can only take about five people or six people in here. If somebody jumps off, uh, I can try and get you in, but uh, we're probably only going to go to about 10 o'clock, so we only got about a half hour left on the stream. All right, good. But I, I do have a year of the PlayStation video 
coming up right after this live stream. Whoa, 30 yeah, minutes what? of PlayStation goodness. So, so, we, so, so we can expect to see a bunch of uh, PlayStation games that Paul doesn't have? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Yeah. <laughs> if you are into mediocre PlayStation stuff, watch that video. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We actually got some, we got, we got some really good stuff. I ordered a game off of eBay, got it. Got it for a pretty good price. Got I'm a very rare and expensive I'm, demo disc. I'm trying to think what I don't have on the PS1. He said I didn't. I don't have it. But and I think you said it was a shooter. So I'm gonna go I ahead don't and guess. That at all. You didn't say it was a shooter yesterday. Uh, I don't. One of the games. Uh, you might have. You might have picked up Strikers. Hmm. I don't know. Mm. You have. You have to wait and Cons see. Considering I pretty much have. Uh, I pretty much have all the PS1 shooters. I was just going to say, I, I, uh, I watched your PlayStation 1 collection video, and it wasn't in there. You may have gotten it since then, because I just watched the what, PlayStation what, what, 1 what, collection. What kind, of, what kind of game is it? It's a... Um, Why do you got that game? The PlayStation 1 game. Yeah. No, no, but is it a platformer? Or is <laughs> it, what is it? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a game you play <laughs> on a PlayStation platform. <laughs> Real specific. Wow, man, you need you need to have a Bud Light, man. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's, it's a game that I've actually dirty, never dirty. seen in the wild, and I was just cruising eBay, and I saw it for, uh, I'll say it was fifty seven ninety five or something, and it was about oh, fifteen. Look, look at uh, Jason's it's about fifteen or twenty dollars cheaper than what it normally sells for. Jason's drinking some fluffy gamer. Some steel some reserve. Some of that steel uh. reserve over there. <laughs> Cause I'm your boy. I'm your boy. You don't mess around. I'm <laughs> boy. Well, that's steel reserve. <laughs> big, big old can of steel reserve. Get you some Wait. of that hurricane. This needs to be a fundraising event for Fluffy. He needs to get some more money so he can go back to Bargain Hunters and get some more games. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Wood bearing that He's blood. Broke I don't know what. I did that one teaser video a week ago. Who is that, Paul? Paul, who are you talking about? Fluffy. No, oh, Fluffy, bro. Fluffy's, <laughs> Fluffy's coming down to Houston, I, I hear. Man, that's Renee what he Mid-April. Is Man, he? That's, that's what I hear. That's cool. That's what CM Retro dropped on us what, last is night. It, that's what he said in the is stream. It this month or next month when he's supposed to appear on the Storage Wars? Y'all know? Oh, you know what? I forgot about that. I do want to check that out. What? Sure. <laughs> I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah. I didn't yeah. even know that show was still on. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, yeah. He said it on his yeah. video and shit. <laughs> He's, yeah, exactly. He's coming out. Renee is still a big part a of that. Of yeah, Renee's still a big part of that, and Fluffy's going to be on the show apparently with Renee for a segment, I guess. I mean, I definitely yes. want to check that out. Yeah, that's what's up, that though. It's wild. Man. California guys, man. They movie cool. stars. Fluffy over big there. time. Yeah, they they movie stars. My yeah, friend at work some, asked me if uh, movie this year we would we could do some storage auctions. And I said, Doug, it's not like it is on TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's just sort of getting into this, like, buying and selling, you know, like going to thrift and flipping something. It, you got to stand out there all day. To find one auction, and you know what I mean? Somebody's going to pay overpay for it. No, yeah, you're going to get your feelings hurt. It's bullshit. Yeah. Auction, Bad Company, says, crazy, Fluffy, Fluffy, Bad company, Bad company says Fluffy will be on Storage Wars Wednesday, April 12th. Nice. Nice. We got still another month or so. Yeah. It's your boy. Because I'm the boy. Fluffy Gamer. <laughs> Yo, he's a hustler for real. He'd be in the rain and shit. He porn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like fuck that. <laughs> I'm like fuck that shit. <laughs> Whatever happened to his boy Leo? I haven't seen him in a while, man. Since we talked about him last week. Boy, his yeah, boy. I don't know what's going on with him? Yeah, remember, remember that. Yeah, kind of weird. You know. 
YouTube's a uh, YouTube's a tough thing sometimes, I guess, man. People just, just I don't know. Well, what's going on? Uh, I don't want to get into it. It's kind of well, some bullshit. I right. never mind. Paul, that's Paul's Paul's uncle, Leo. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Wood, Wood, what's up, bang, my man. What's up? What's the deal? You what up? You all right? CM Retro, get, give Wood some time on the floor, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what? CM Retro, come on. I was just going to ask Mike, uh, you know, right. why he was so fascinated with stabbing Paul with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Paul won't let me no more, man. He's he's running away from me. I ain't want to play. <laughs> they, cry. They, cry. They, cry. they come with that crying shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I, and I told you in the text today. I didn't put I didn't put a cry clip in the video this week. I broke my uh, my streak. My my Pete Rose caliber streak. <laughs> that's, that's the first video I didn't put the uh, cry clip in. I, th I think we're gonna retire it. I think we're gonna retire it. Oh boy! Do anybody oh, have an R type? Makes me sad. The, um, I may cry. Oh, I oh, oh, I got that man. I got that R type. You got that that Delta. Shit? Which one? Which which one? I got the Delta. Yeah, I got Delta. the Delta one. Yo, how much you get? Did you get that shit on the low low? Yeah. No, I got that on eBay. R type Delta. How much? Yep. Uh, shoot. It's been a while since I got it's it. It's been over a buck. It wasn't, it, it, no, it wasn't over a buck. It was probably seventy to eighty bucks for 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 a nice condition copy of it. This is about oh, six, six months ago. This one dumbass dude, or well, do it a retro shop. Copy of it. This shit's been in there for one fifty, and it's and it's got some scratches on it. And every time I go in there, when you gonna drop this? Oh no, I can't do that. Right, that oh wow. Good. Yeah, that's that's coming up in my. Uh, I think second Charles has about one sixty. Oh really? Oh really? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering right now. Maybe CM Retro remembers. Our type Delta is coming up in the shooter competition. Somebody has it. I hope I have it. I don't have it in my bracket. Oh, you know what? I got the bracket right here. Well, Barry's looking for his bracket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, CM Retro, I got that in my bracket. I so got who's it, it going up against? Uh, first round, it goes up against... It goes up against Darius Gaiden on the, on the fucking uh, Sega Saturn. Holy Here we crap. go. Wow. Heavyweight. Damn. That, that's that's a, that's a matchup right there. Battle of the Titans. I got some crazy matchups. This 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 the the video that I'm struggling to get up. CM Retro is I got some crazy matchups. Terra Diver against Philosoma. Um, that's I got be a great matchup. Attack in there. Galactic Attack. Igaruga. Uh, Gakayo, the Shooting King. Dragon Spirit. I guess I got a few games in there, man, that are tough. Yeah, you get some of those tough situations like, um, you know, I had UN Squadron going up against Tailspin. That was a hard choice. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, but I, like I got like Aki Katana and Einhander. That's probably the toughest one I've got. Um, Solar Striker and Battle Squadron for the Genesis. That'll be a tough one for me. Yeah, that's a good one. Because Solar sure. Striker is underrated, and uh, you know the music on the Game Boy is actually really good. Email from DMV. I emailed them, asking why it was still on your record. Oh, what's on whose record? Oh, good. <laughs> right Do you have there. a felony? <laughs> you got something? On, you got something on your record? Uh, I got a rap sheet. Am I alone? Who who was that? <laughs> Is anybody? Somebody's asking in the, uh, in the comment section if they know what channel Storage around. Wars is on. Storage Wars isn't that on any bad stuff? 
It might be on A. &E. Yeah, I think it is on A. &E. Who is that talking in the background? Is is Paul? Is is Paul's mom telling him to go to bed, or what's going on here? It's Lisa. <laughs> it's Lisa. It's bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa putting her foot down. Oh man! <laughs> Power player, Paul, you get your ass in this bed this instant. Uh, <laughs> hey, Chris, I didn't know Bianca was from Texas. Uh, I was talking to her on her video today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't know she was from Texas. Now she moved though. To yeah, California, she's out in, I guess. She's like, yeah, San Diego or yeah. something. Yeah, she's really cool, man. And, uh, you know, it's cool that she's into Genesis because I'm not really into like Sega stuff or whatever. So it's cool to have like that resource that I can go to if I, you know, have a Genesis question or a Master System question. Yeah, she's actually right. turned me on to a few Master, or, yeah, Master System games that I didn't know existed. Yeah, she sounds like she knows her stuff. I mean, she's, she's, she's a pretty diehard gamer, it seems. Uh, I keep trying to get her to come in one of these uh, hangouts with us. So hopefully one day she, she'll be able to make it. Well, she seems like a very personable person. She, uh, I don't see her having any struggles, any struggles getting in here, you know, and talking with us. Yeah, I, I just don't know if she's got, you know, scheduling conflict or something like that. But, uh, yeah, hopefully she can get in. She probably just doesn't. That's why she won't join. What's up, Woodbury? Can you find any video games today, brother? Uh, yeah, actually, I did. Did you find some other All good right. shit? Some classic, legendary shit? What, what, no, what you gonna pull out now? The Red Crossing, <laughs> the Red Crossing C from uh, Atari. <laughs> complete and shit. Complete, 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 complete box. Box. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Crusader Senti. <laughs> you better, better not pull out anything better. Yeah, man, freaking amazing. And all you guys with all these Mega Man games, Musha. <laughs> Musha. Hey, you better not pull nothing. Better not pull today. We're gonna start calling you yeah, Casey the Game Nerd. Like Musha. You got Musha? Who got Musha? <laughs> Musha. Uh, the Musha is in the show. Juntao got my motherfucker. Juntao. <laughs> hey, hey, Musha's in the shooting competition. Uh, Blast Mode Seven has that game. That's gonna be he one of the shooters. It, yeah. yeah, buddy. If we can get. Who's got yeah. trust me? Competition too, I believe Clint has that as well. I think that's oh, in his yeah. bracket. Is he, Truxton yeah, he, he has, and he Musha. Has a ton of, uh, Did Chad just get that one? Genesis and Super Nintendo. Uh, yeah, didn't he get that one from the uh, thrift store that one day? Yeah, he got. Uh, he got Truxton, I think he got I think. Truxton for like yeah, really cheap. Yeah, yeah, he did. He got a decent price. He paid like thirty bucks for a loose card. Or something. Like he got, he got a good deal on it. Yeah, yo, Jay, how much you get that shit for? Look at that. Um, I think I got it for like like forty. But hold on, Jason, show it again. I'm gonna screen lock you. Oh, hold on. oh nice, nice. Hey, you want to trade that for uh, some Intellivision games? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're complete with the overlays. No, I mean I probably got some uh, PlayStation stuff that you might want. All right. What I picked up today? It's the Mary Kate National Orphan. Uh, no, I missed it. What you got, brother? Uh, you, uh, I got that double stack variant uh, spine right here. Check that out. <laughs> Shit. You oh, that before? Yo, that's nice, man. <laughs> it's a show, by the way. Movie coming out soon. That's PAL version. PAL version style. All right, what you got, Woodbury? And show us. I'll have to you save it for the video. Oh, okay. Whip oh, it out. Dude, oh. another one of those. Didn't he say that about the uh, the <laughs> yeah. other game too? He said he wouldn't show it. It was. It must be something. <laughs> is, is it something big, Woodbury? No, it's not something big. All right. I'm trying to think <laughs> what it is. It's something huge. No, it's not. <laughs> It's just something. <laughs> Is it better or worse than a complete box copy of Earthbound? Let me think. <laughs> Let <Worse>. me think. <laughs> wow. Uh, Alex, I did see. I did see your email about uh, a trade package. Would Darian pull out a copy of a box copy of Hagane? <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish. Uh, 
this lady down the street had these <laughs> box of games, and she was like, how much? I was like, I'll give you five cents a piece. And she was like, okay. <laughs> and then she called me back the next day and told me she has a Ghani complete. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. <laughs> that's wild. That's wild. <laughs> that shit is crazy. They give you service and shit. Uh, yeah, I got this other game. It doesn't look like shit, but you want it? <laughs> I kind of actually felt bad, and, and you guys, for real, I did. About what? About getting that game, knowing what it goes for, for 200 bucks and all that other stuff. And she was asking for oh, 25 well. And I was like, 200. Well, yeah. weird, I don't feel bad, man. Just, just you know, pass it on. I won't no, feel man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. If you feel too it, bad. My conscience is gone when it comes to the game. <laughs> yeah. You could be like man, Billy and Jay in that one episode of Game Chasers where they went back and gave that lady more money. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't live with themselves, huh? I actually seen that, and I thought about doing it, actually. Cap Retro says it's not as crazy as chasing the classics, finding stadium vents for 99 cents, which was awesome, but that's a thrift store, man. Them dum-dums <laughs> priced it at that, so that's what they get. I'm not but going back to pay uh, Goodwill any more money for Funstones. <laughs> well, well, I do have to say, every once in a while, you got to slip the cashier at Goodwill or the people that take care of you at these thrift stores. you got to slip them a little bit of money. I mean, just throw them a little, throw them a little bone because a lot of these people help us out. I you know? don't I mean, need. Well, I, sometimes I'll give them a little cash, cashiers. Yes, they do. They do. That's what's you up. Know. That's what's up, Ty. Yeah, I mean, they. You know, I tell them don't tell the manager. Obviously, they'll get in trouble. But you know, kind of do that little slide thing where you slide the money in their hands. Yeah. I wanted to ask you guys, what is up with the Goodwills where you guys live at? Because the ones down here are absolute garbage. Yeah, a lot of areas it's yeah. like that. I yeah, see all, like that. all the bins or whatnot. There's all sorts of games in there on you guys' channel. That's ridiculous. I don't know. I, you know, I heard somebody talking about the other day, and they were like, well, I'm in a real cold climate, so I don't understand – it, it, it would seem to me that since I'm in a cold climate, that the video games, there would, people would be donating video games to all the Goodwills, and you know, and, and, and he said that it's the opposite there. I heard a bunch of people say that in cold climates that they have they have struggles finding video games. What? I don't know if there's any connection to that, but uh, that's crazy. <clears throat> Well, time well, for today, sure, man. It's cold outside. Everybody's staying inside, dude. They're playing games for real. Yeah. I don't know, man. At least in my area, because we have a lot of people that hunt games and toys and Goodwill and all that stuff. And uh, when it's cold and there's no flea markets or garage sales, you know, those those people have no place to go except for the Goodwills, the other thrift stores, the half price books. So yeah. you know what I mean? Like, but when it's summertime, it's a little bit easier to find stuff at Goodwill because there's less competition. They're all out at garage sales i'm really lucky that i've got sunday monday and tuesday off from work because i can hit thrift stores the first part of the week and then i get off 7 a.m you know thursday and friday morning so if there's garage sales i can get to them first yeah 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 it's yeah, tough to be a weekend warrior like you said when you can hit those uh reseller hours as i like to call it uh you can catch you can catch some games sometimes uh, I mean, remember when the guys working the Monday through Friday, nine to five, those resellers are out there checking all your games. Taking your All shit, day long. You bitch. Yeah. yeah whenever right. I get, so whenever I get like a weird day off, like a Wednesday, I'm, I'm super excited because I'm like, oh, I'm going to find something now because now I'm going to beat the uh, resellers to the punch. Yeah, you in Usually, the middle. Yeah. Right. Job, but, you know. Allows me to work. The job I have allows me to work. And then I, I'm off by nine o'clock. I go hit the thrift stores. That's when they open up the Goodwills and everything. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, then I oh, yeah. go back to work yeah. later on. So, yeah, you got a perfect schedule for that. So for it's pretty sure. advantageous. Very advantageous. I actually, hey, you'll I up, yeah. I went to Goodwill and picked up money because I, I work in an armored truck and I, I bought games at like nine, ten o'clock in the morning when they open. <laughs> that's just <fun. laughs> but I didn't oh, I didn't yeah. I didn't get nothing. <laughs> uh, oh that's against the law, man. You're pulling the brink truck up to the to the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
<laughs> and busting bust, bust out the back with the shotgun, the, 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 the pump shotgun, jumping out the back. What the game is that? Where they at? <laughs> what the game is that? Fools like that, that, that Boston movie where they're robbing banks, man. <laughs> what was that movie called with the guy from, um, uh, they're robbing the Brink trucks up in Massachusetts? Uh, was that Heat? The, the town? I wouldn't heat. The, the town. town. The town. Yeah. The town. That, town was a yeah. good that was a good flick yeah. right there. Now, Hob, you said something about Massachusetts. Do you know that I was born in Waltham, Massachusetts? Walt, what is it? Waltham, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I know, I know Methuen. I remember Methuen Mall and shit back in the day. Yeah, but you know Massachusetts. You li you you said you lived in Massachusetts, right? Yeah. Like close to the area. Yeah. I was born in Massachusetts. No shit. But I moved to Houston when I was like six months old, so. No, Yo, really you, moved, you got up and moved your ass to Houston and shit? Yeah, I was out. <laughs> it's like, fuck this shit. Cold. It's cold. It was too cold. <laughs> I, 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 I was in my di I was in my diapers, man. I said, it's too cold. <laughs> I'm out of here. Making my wee wee go in my stomach. It's too cold. <laughs> hey, Jay, say. Yeah. I got this shit for you, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What you got here? Oh, you can't see. Oh, I don't know if you can see that shit. Oh, you got traction. You, oh, you got new shit. Motherfucker. Uh, I'm looking for June Tao. Uh, Motherfucker got my game. Yo, uh, yo, uh, yo, Jason, you got this shit? I didn't see it. Uh, this shit right here? Missile Command, completing box. You got, you got it? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold up. Um, I, I think I got like 50 in the box. If you can see me like right behind 50 me. 50 of them? Yeah, I got like no, no, not in that game, but I got like fifty Atari games oh, in the box. Right there. Boxed up. So you got this bullshit? Yeah. I think I, I can't see it. What, what is it? Yeah, it's missile, missile command. command. Yeah, I got it. You know the funny thing about this shit is I don't even remember, but it doesn't even say twenty six hundred. It just says the video computer system game co brand. It doesn't say shit about twenty six hundred. Well, isn't so that the te television? That's not an television game. Nah, it's a tar. It's a tar. It doesn't say. Oh, it, look, it looks like an television box. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's got some joystick, but it doesn't say anything about a twenty twenty six hundred. Oh, okay. None at all. It just says Atari video computer system. I guess that's what it was called when it first came out. Cause I had the Junior. When I was a kid. Right. Are you gonna make me pull that out too? Yeah, pull that shit out. Hey Chris, <laughs> can you can you call me one more time? Cause I'm gonna answer on my computer. Call you? Okay. I got the inbox though. What's that? The Junior? Is that a variation? Or shit? Yeah. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, I missed that. I yeah, it's like a small, it's like a small red box. I have the junior too, but I don't have it in the box, unfortunately. All right, uh, Canadian Richer, I think I sent you the invite. We're we're coming up on the mm -hmm. end of the stream. We're gonna stop about ten or so, but I'm, I really want to push the limits of what I can do. I usually only want to have about five people in here because, you know, my internet and I'm running off my chitty Toshiba laptop. So we're going to try and fill it up for the last Peace 10 out. minutes and uh, yeah, see what we can get. We'll kick your ass, Ricky Tan. <laughs> Four, five, six. Hey, yo, Jason, so so was, was this the same thing? Canadian Metro in here, we good. No, that's not the same yeah, thing. Say, yours look different, right? Yeah. Cause I don't know which one this is. I know it's the junior, but I, I'm like your box is like completely different. Oh, I want that. <laughs> Yo, I, Captain Retro is saying that, that might be a Sears. So, delegate. so Chris, can you like? Uh, yeah, I got like a little carrying handle on mine. Can you, can you invite me on? Oh, that? Yeah, that's again. crazy. Yeah, yo, that's wow. So your box is bigger than mine, then, right? Is that what it looks like? <laughs> um. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to laugh. No, Wait, hold, hold, hold on a second, Alex. Alex, what do you need me to do? <laughs> like, call me on Hangouts again, because I was watching the stream like in my living room on my phone, and I had to pick up so that like wouldn't miss it again. So, I in order for me to transfer on my computer, like, 
Okay, just duck it, duck out of the stream, and then yeah, I'll send you. Yeah, the exit out. out. Exit out, so you can start right. over. Cause, and then go to your computer. It causes mass confusion inside this stream. <laughs> and I know, I, I know, I don't appreciate it. Uh, can I can I make an announcement, CM Retro? Um, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a five thousand K giveaway. <laughs> I'm not too big on giveaways, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a five thousand. I decided the other day how it's gonna work or whatever, but I'm thinking that people that have been subscribed to my channel for three years get three votes. You know what I'm saying? People that okay. have been subscribed to get two, one, one. Um, and then probably if someone makes a video that that's an extra one, like it's going to be merit based kind of like that. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to bingo ball it or whatever, throw it in the dryer, spin it up, make a pick. You know, you're going to have five balls or four balls or whatever. Um, I'm probably going to do it like that. So and it's going to uh, be a box of stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a bunch of stuff in there. That's cool. I, I think Retronic Collector had a really good um, subscriber contest. What he did was he came up with like 10 questions and it was like a scavenger hunt. You had to go back through the videos and watch the videos to find the answer to. Yeah. You know what? I was thinking about doing something like that, but I don't want to torture anybody. I've made a lot of videos, man. It's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of videos. I, to make someone go through all my videos, and my answer questions, that would be pretty brutal, I, I think. Yeah, that, that's not that, my, not that my videos are not good, but I made a lot of videos <laughs> to watch. And my videos are long to watch four oh, yeah, yeah. videos. Uh, four that, that's video. tough, man. Yeah, I can't I couldn't do that to nobody. But that's a good idea, yeah. though. So are you just going to have like comment in the comment section about something? And then if you want an additional two or three entries, make a video response on a certain topic. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, you know what I'm thinking about doing? Yeah, the way the, the, the structure that I just told you is how I'm going to do it. But what I'm thinking about doing is, yeah, you have to comment below. Uh, but then also, you have, if you make a video, you have to tell, uh, you have to, you have to uh, do a video on what you think my, what, what, whatever your favorite video that I made. But not just me. You have to name two other YouTubers and, and say the favorite video that they made on their channels as well. So it's going to be like three, you know, whatever video that I made that you like, but you're also going to have to name two other YouTubers. Right. So like respond, respond to Tight White's question of the contest or whatever, and then also uh, shout out two other channels. Yeah, that's a great right. idea. Right. And then you that's put the link idea. to, to – the. To yeah, you put the link to their video that you – whatever the favorite video is that they made. Yeah. It's some, I asked somebody – So I that asked, way – so that, one, Go ahead. I'm sorry. I think one time and I, I asked in one of my subscriber contests to, like, shout out another channel or something, and it caused all kinds of chaos because sometimes when you try and put a link in the comment section on YouTube, it will mark it as spam. So then you actually have to go into your own video and approve all of those comments – Oh, oh wow! <laughs> oh, damn. It was kind of it was kind of a pain in the ass. Damn! Oh oh, Alex was old school gamer. I thought you, you changed your name or what, Alex? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know you changed. What your used name. to be. You didn't even oh, know that. Okay. What? No, I thought you were somebody else. That's why I was talking talking crap. <laughs> he used to be an old school gamer. He's a yeah. Al it's the Alex, artist formerly known as old school buddy. gamer. Next time, he's just going to change his name to a question mark. Let's yeah. Purple yeah. Green. yeah. Pretty much. Purple Gamer. Purple Gamer. <laughs> Thinking of changing my name to Insert Cry Clip. <laughs> insert Cry Clip. <laughs> Don't tell me. You should beat me. <laughs> Mama, the she's on. In insert Cry Clip channel. Captain Retro said he's going to give away a copy of Sculptor's Cut for his 10,000 yeah. subscriber. No, he said that, and then he backed off of it. Or or he could just send it to me. I thought we went over this. Uh, that's cool. It would save him some time. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm going to send a bunch that's of bull crap to my Pokemon cards. I'm going to send some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, some Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> what about some Bakugan? Send. Don't forget Bakugan. God. I'm gonna I'm gonna send some uh some like VHS toys. Some VHS. <laughs> I'm gonna send a box of VHS. Some VHS. 
<laughs> hey man, factory seal VHS man, five thousand sub contest <laughs> going down. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. I'm gonna pull one out if I can get no, I can't get to that. Beat that. I got Scarface. I got Scarface factory sealed on VHS. I'm not opening that. You know what off I said hello to my little friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I saw? You know what I saw in the same place I got all those other ones? I saw Terminator factory sealed. And then I looked it up and it wasn't worth nothing. I was like, oh man, how is this not <laughs> worth money? Factory yeah. sealed Terminator? See, that's the, that's All right, the I'm gonna problem get it. I have when I see tapes. It's a strange oh. game, strange world. Uh, well, I picked, well, I picked up that Star Wars factory sealed uh, big conglomeration of all these different Star Wars movies. I sold that for like 70 bucks online. <laughs> Well, hey, Ty, it's probably because Arnold flopped on the apprentice, oh. brother. Yeah. Ty, Mr. Ty, wait. This is what yeah. I got for free from the from the uh, the free bin at uh, Sagan Charles. There you go. What is that? that? Oh, is that, that What is that, that what is it uh, Paul? Agent Ica? <laughs> I don't have any idea. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> Interesting box art, though. <laughs> it's a, it's an anime, right? VHS anime? Yeah, it is, see? Now, you, don't make me go get my anime collection. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got that, <laughs> all, all of a sudden, I'm some big anime collector now. All right. Uh, J Jason Scarface, man? Oh, man. I yeah. wonder how much that's, that's worth. That's probably worth yeah, it. That's dope. crazy. That's an awesome movie, man. Sweet, man. Oh, it's a double, too, right? Is it a double? Yeah, it's a double. Yeah, it's a double. Oh, shit, man. That's old school. It's when got, double Long got that bonus joint. Oh, no, you got some damage Please, in the seal, man. Please. Oh, yeah. Want it. Uh, yeah. Like a crack in it. We don't oh, want it now. Oh, no, no. That's it. It's, it's like new it. now. It's like new, you're guys. You're, you're going to have to dump that. You should no. you should saw you should saw me when I was picking up those anime uh, VHS. If I saw like a little rip in the seal, I was like, nah, I can't do it. <laughs> I was passing up stuff. <laughs> what's up, Canadian Retro? Yeah, what's going Not on? Not too bro? much. What's going on? What up? Oh, uh, nothing much, man. Not a whole lot. Chop chopping it up with a bunch of friends here. Jin <laughs> Tao. Canadian Retro. Right. I, still, I still got a comment on. Your last video, uh, Canadian Retro picked up a bunch of uh, GameCube uh, glory. Picked up a, some ni a nice little uh, lot at a uh, Sabers, I believe. Still need to yeah, that out. Off. There, there you go. There, there he is. Hold hey, on, hold on. Hey, hold on. Can you, yeah, let me screen lock you. Show them off. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Sexy. Well done, yes. well done. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see here. Yeah. Couple other interesting ones. I don't know. It's not too bad. There you go. Not bad. And then hey, check this one out. It's like Kmart oh, Zelda. Yeah. yeah, the Target one. Nice. Yeah. Well, but like these were only sold in the states, so I don't know what it was doing up in these northern climes, but you know, they find their way somehow. Some yeah. Way find their way. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, any yeah, uh, any yeah. aesthetic show? I don't know what you're talking about, Bad Company. He says no one agrees with me, but I didn't catch the comment, so repost hey. the comment. Uh, Dan from Rebel Gaming Club, I sent you a link to jump in. Any aesthetic? I'm going to send you a link to jump in. I'm going to see how many people I can actually jam in here before my internet breaks. Yeah, just going to crash this shit on purpose. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. I'm just happy good. that I can. Oh, good morning, everybody. Hey, Breaking your internet. Break the internet. Break the internet. Hey, uh, see, uh, Canadian Retro, I picked these up at a Savers today for a dollar a piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no, I got that beat. I found Pop Full Mail just loose in 99 cents. Oh, oh right. nice. It was mixed no. in with burnt DVDs and shit. Really? Yeah. On the on the uh, on the uh, 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 what is it the um, Sega CD yeah Sega CD Jun Tao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
beautiful, no. man. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I've gotten to a few auctions on that, and it just gets out of hand, man. It's yeah, man, so it out of stupid. hand that oh, it gets up to $400, man. I, I, I $500 one time. Yo, yeah. yo, there was a dude who prepared a wood bearing and could see that yeah, be a Saturn yeah, it's, it's breaking up bad. and he listens them so i'm like all right how much for this one and he's yeah. like, well, you know you you know you got a bullshit cat when he's like um just make me an offer all right man let me look this shit up i said man whatever dude never mind man you know, cats are bullshit yeah, i don't like it when people say make me an offer eat right oh, if they make you an offer then you can actually haggle with them and then if yeah they're just gonna be a dick if they don't Get what they want. Well, what's up? Just, NES just don't deal with Welcome those to the stream. NES addict. What's up, guys? Appreciate what it. What up? What's going on, bro? Oh, what NES game are you currently on, man? What's that? A to, a to, you're J to Z. Which uh, one are you on now? Air Fortress. Oh, sweet. That was the most recent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome! Uh, so oh, bad, bad company saying that company saying that we need to get more girl yeah. gamers on. That's what he was talking about in the live stream. A female perspective on gaming would be nice, like a fresh set of eyes. Isn't Paul, that what White is for? Oh! <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> there it is. There to defend himself. Yeah, had to throw haymakers. <laughs> I, I was going gentle. I was like, yes, oh, maybe Lisa, because you know she plays games. You know. Yeah. 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 That's a tight stay even yeah. watching right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not there. <laughs> there he is. He's like he threw an A, my kid. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's back. <laughs> that, hey, that is funny how that happened, man. How you went out of screen tight. It's yeah, like you was hey, brother. What did that do? <laughs> Captain Retro says, yeah. burn town. Population. Alex has burned your ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Alex burned you, man. Yo, Chris. <laughs> Talk about wow. we need a per female perspective in gaming. That's what Bad Company said. And then Alex said, isn't that what tight white is for? <laughs> Alex, oh, Alex, Alex, Alex dropped that. Yeah, I think I did that. Alex, Alex did that, Alex. I, yeah. that, Alex. I, I wish I could take credit I for it. Alex, you better not have said that, boy. <laughs> I think I just lost a subscriber. Oh, well, he's okay. he's more of a man than well, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, YouTube I'm gang war here. Yeah, bad <laughs> company. We understand, man. man. Yeah, you uh, can all get the here and. That would be cool. <laughs> Man, I leave the I leave the stream for a minute. Look at that. Throw it. Don't give me a chance. No, man. I'm feeling my chin, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Oh, man. 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 Oh, Brutal, man. <laughs> All right, guys, it's 10 after 10. Rough. I'm going to bounce out. You guys that are in the Hangout are more than happy to stay in here and, you know, chit-chat and do whatever. Can I read it? Oh, okay. It's 9 here. Yeah, it's 10, 10. I went ahead and posted the link in the uh, YouTube description, see if anybody... Wants to jump in before I shut her down, but uh, yeah, we'll, you guys can stay we'll, in here and talk all night as we'll, long as we'll two keep, people we'll, are in we'll here. Keep, we'll keep this baby going till like 10 o'clock. Something like the party don't uh, stop. My time. I like quest. I like chicken. Next question, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a hey, BC retro was mad. Our BC gaming was mad that he was wasn't in my uh, tight the, my my video this week, man. It was two videos in a row, man. He was mad that he was not in that, that next video. <laughs> sure, man. He was pissed off at me, man. We're, we're, still try, we're still trying to iron stuff out, man, through text. <laughs> What's up, Kane Deathbreaker? Kane Deathbreaker. Hey, what up, Kane? What's up, Kane? What up, brother? Yeah. What up, Kane? Yeah, how's Kane, how's Kane doing? All right, Chris, chilling. get out of here, man. You say you're leaving. Get out of here. Well, I'm chilling giving like them guys villain. a couple minutes to see if they want to join in, and when they join in, then I'll bounce. No, June Oh, uh, We don't want no more people in here. 
That's it. We're, uh, we got, we got two okay, personalities yeah. in here. Maxed you guys, out. You guys in the, the chat section, so I'm in control of the stream now. <laughs> nope, oh, nobody great. else is coming in. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to talk smack about Chris. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, there else. you go. There you go. All right. Um, where should we start with the uh, the questions and answers here? Start with uh, – so so Canadian – or um, Chris is dropping the uh, – what, what does he call that? The PlayStation 1 uh, video tonight? Let's check that out. The year of the PlayStation. The year of the PlayStation for – March, February. The, the PlayStation. I'm gonna check that out. See what he got over there. I, I don't know. Yeah, Paul's got, got nothing with sports titles in his PlayStation One collection, so he'll be checking that <laughs> out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you already know. Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> does any, hey, does anybody here collect Odyssey Two? Look at Power Player. Get, look at Paul. Get up. <laughs> look at Paul. Get up. He's already going to grab. He's already going yeah, to grab some game <laughs> off the shelf. Oh, one second. Look, one, look, one, look. Hold on. What is that, NHL 99? Oh, no. What's he grabbing back? <laughs> 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 That's a pretty nice uh, copy. I got to go to bed. Hold on. You got there. I got to go to bed. Oh, oh man. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Me. Cover up. Oh, shoot me. I, I got to <laughs> sleep in my uh, games. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Canadian Retro. Just, just let let us know. That's not classy. What he's doing, right? Pulling no, those gals really. out, showing off. <laughs> That's Come on, Paul. I got, I got a few heavy Who's hitters. I've found. Sports games. Let's <laughs> try yeah, to not, this pathetic PS One collection. Yeah, yeah, you're not showing them. <laughs> That's that's kind of he's going too far, man. That, that, that's disrespectful. Yeah, he's very disrespectful. Man. <laughs> FAA is gonna be on your ass for that bullshit, man. <laughs> Oh, I can't sleep. Hold on, I can't sleep. Hold on, hold on. I bet the people, I bet, I bet the people in the comment section are, are having a, are, are uh, having a field day with that. Oh man, hold on. I got, I can't sleep. Hold on. Hold uh oh, on. You doing oh, some more? Sleep. Dang, go on. I can't oh, sleep. Okay, hold crap. on. Now I can go to sleep. Hold on. Okay. What? Okay. What is that? Thousand? That's a thousand thread count. Is that what that is? <laughs> Silky. Oh man, that's oh, like. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. What does he do? Just have like all his valuable games like right next to him, wherever he's at. <laughs> <laughs> well, those no, nah, those you got a bunch of repros. <laughs> hey, are you seriously pulling out greatest hits versions? Are you pulling out greatest hits versions? Yeah, he pull out our fucking green labels. Get that Don't shit out. Don't pull out no green labels. <laughs> Man, those cases are empty, right? Yeah, this shit's not even. <laughs> yeah, very empty. Oh, very empty. Oh my god. <laughs> you start. He pull it pull out. out he's starting to pull out double stack. Uh, and double stack's fine, right? There. <laughs> Which one is that one? Which one is that oh, one, Paul? That's my, that's my favorite one. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Which oh, persona was that? Got that tight white persona revelations. That's one. I mean, I'm in the living. I'm yeah, in the living room. I really can't. I really can't grab any games besides, you know, I can grab like a razor knife. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a boss cutter. Huh? You're gonna need it this time. <laughs> I know. It looked like a boss cutter. Yeah. <laughs> that go you play uh, hey, uh, retro uh, gamers. Uh, cut, you pop, play uh, Persona. Persona. I still need. I still need the second one. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, you play those? Two. I need both of them. Oh my gosh, I love I love the SMT games, man. <laughs> These got other guys in here don't know. Tight white no, anyway. <laughs> Tight white don't know. <laughs> what are those? What are those, those pillow hey, hey, what are those pillowcases you got? Two hundred count? Man, that shit look like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like ninety eight count. Ninety eight, right? <laughs> Yeah, this one, this one's zero count. Look at this. Oh, man, that's 98. <laughs> this one was a naked pillow. Look at that one. Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> 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 you got a newborn rat pillow. <laughs> hey, the first day I got the, uh, the thousand <laughs> count. Hey, the first day I got the thousand count sheets, I was supposed to be up at 6 a.m., and I woke up at noon. 
<laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I'm missing half of that work. <laughs> <laughs> now, yo, BC was like, he's like, what the fuck? This is a damn video game.